What is up? What is up? What is up, people? Another day, another late night crypto chat. Welcome, 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 everybody to the show. Now, if you're watching this on the replay, you know what that means, my friends? That means that you're late to the party. So make sure to catch us live by subscribing to the channel, hitting the thumbs up button, and ringing that bell to turn on those post notifications. Uh, I want to give a big shout out to everybody that's here with us right now on the Late Night Crypto Show. We are the Crypto Legends. My name is Roy Salix, and I'm here with the co-host of the show. He goes by... Hey, you already know, Linda, a.k.a. the Crypto Bully in the building, boy. Hey, and uh, my friends, we're going to have a good time, okay? We're going to have a great time tonight, as we always do. Uh, We have so many new people joining us on the show. Uh, Linden... Tell them yeah. our stream schedule, bro, so they can tune Yo. in each and every single week. Facts, man. So just in case y'all don't know, man, we go live every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday, 10 p.m. Central Time. We're here. We here because y'all here. And y'all here because we here. That's what we do. Yo, it's it's too easy. It's Facts. too easy. It's too much fun, my friends. And uh, look, we're here to have a good time. This is a talk show. Okay, this is a crypto related show, but we don't just talk about crypto here. We talk about a lot of cool different things here on the channel. You never know what we're going to be talking about. A lot of times we (laughs) talk about what the chat wants to talk about. Right. We go from topics such as uh, travel, science, history. You know, we go all over the place, but we always start off by talking about crypto. And uh, when you're talking about any type of uh you know, financial uh, in the industry, mm-hmm. we always have to give you a disclaimer. Okay. You see, there's many crypto shows out there, uh, nice. but this one is very, very, very different, man. Lyndon, can you tell them yeah. why this show is different? Yo, the reason why this show is different is because um, we do not give out investment advice. <laughs> we don't. Uh, we look out. We don't. No, no way, shape, or form. We can't. You know what I'm saying? That would be against the law. We don't do that. But what we do do is encourage y'all everybody viewers to do all your own research man everything we have you can look for it in the description we got the links to everything we talk about news wise so we want you to check it out for yourself verify what we're saying yo exactly and uh you know we also uh like Lyndon said you know we encourage you to do your own research okay my friends crypto is a very very volatile market okay you can make a lot of money and of course, right. you could also lose a lot of money, right? right? So make sure you're doing your own research. You're staying up to date. You're staying informed. Uh, and mm-hmm. if you're here right now with us, make some noise in the chat, please. Just drop a comment. Let us know that you're here. I see Steph is in the building. What's up, Steph? What's up? Colin Wade is in the building. Shout out to you. Hey. I want to make sure that the chat is working. Uh, and let us know. Nope. How's the audio? How's the video? Uh, facts. Yo, Crypto Cowboys is here. Yo, Jesse oh, yeah. Durney is here. What up, what up, what up, what up, what up? <laughs> um, Dropping likes. Yeah, thank you so much for everybody that's hitting the thumbs up button right now. Thank you so much. It's much, much appreciated. You see, when nice. you hit that thumbs up button, that helps us directly because it helps us get more exposure for the nice. show. Right. The more likes, the more engagement, the more the algorithm favors this video right here. And uh, yo, tonight's a big night, guys. Tonight is a big night. You want to know why tonight's a big night? Why? Yo, we're about to hit 200 subscribers, bro. 200 subscribers. Are you kidding me? We just hit it. <laughs> we hit it already? We just hit it right now. Nah. I just refreshed you too, bro. Stop playing with me. We, we there, bro. <laughs> oh my goodness. We just hit 200 subscribers. Can I get some 200 subscriber hype in the chat? For sure. Yo. <laughs> Are you <laughs> kidding me? Before the live. My friends, two weeks ago, oh, we had 50 subscribers. Facts. I thought we wouldn't hit 200 subscribers until June. It's not even June yet. We're already at 200 subscribers. So screw the goal, bro. Yeah. <laughs> screw screw the goal. We we blew past we the goal. 
Yo, legit. Yo, you legends are freaking awesome. Seriously, everybody who shared out this broadcast, everybody yeah. who thumbed up the broadcast, everybody who comments in the chat, this is only possible because of you. Seriously. Right. So I just want to thank you so much. Seriously, so much. Jazz says, just 200. That's going to be a slow Tuesday for you next year. <laughs> Well, yeah. so 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 here's the thing, right? Yo, Jazz, really appreciate the love, right? So here's the thing. So YouTube, right? We mm -hmm. literally sacrificed five to ten thousand views on Facebook to come Back. over and start completely fresh over here on YouTube. And yep. YouTube is a completely different beast, right? Because you don't get the news, the the news feed. Yeah, it's true. You know, people don't share out YouTube videos that easily, right? So, not anymore. To hit 200 subscribers on YouTube, man, that's like hitting 2,000 over on Facebook. Let's freaking Yo. go, baby. <laughs> Let's go. My man. Yeah. Yo, Jazz, welcome to the broadcast. Mm -hmm. Steph says, yeah, the big 200. I'm worth a 250. Yeah, thank you so yeah. much, Nye. And thank you so much to everybody that's here right now live with us we got a ton of cool stuff to talk about tonight facts the market is going crazy i mean <laughs> it, it, it there's just so much going on you know it, it and you yeah. know what's funny bro Lyndon, is what up so it feels good man it mm -hmm. feels good you know it feels good because uh, crypto is just so exciting you it know? is bro like oh, when i buy real estate real estate mm -hmm. is boring you know, yeah. I buy a couple houses, I go to the title company, I sign a couple papers, and really that's <laughs> it for the next two to three months. Like, right. it's bo It's not a day-to-day -day grind, a day-to-day, -day, you know, yeah. hustle. You know, I've I said this back in 2017. Yeah. Crypto is just exciting because it's like you always want to check the markets. You always want to check your portfolio. You always want to check the news. You always right. want to, you know... Uh, see what's going on so it's fun man i'm happy that the market is doing good uh right now you My know God. uh i mean it's i mean how do you feel about it man i love it man i, I love um you know we kind of had a rush come back through and uh really kind of fire people back up man gotta pay attention to crypto again you know if anybody who's been here through the winter knows ain't nothing changed other than development you know what i'm saying development has been going it's being pushed it's been a lot of projects putting in work it's been a lot of projects uh, shilling bullshit, but we know how we know how that goes. So um, I'm excited, man, that people are paying attention again. And um, I'm gonna let the price action speak for itself, bro. Yo, without a doubt, man, without a doubt. And I also, you know, I gotta give a huge shout out right now to a man that you know that I don't even know because mm -hmm. I'm getting a ton of messages right now that so many people are tuning in and subscribe to the channel from Bitcoin Ben. Oh man! Literally, we just got comments saying that people are here from Bitcoin Ben's channel. Yeah. So if you're here, welcome to the broadcast, and thanks so much for stopping by. Man, yo, Bitcoin Ben is one of the most solid people in crypto. I know facts. We just talked today. I have a podcast dropping with him next Wednesday. We was talking, chatting it up. He recorded for his YouTube, man. Yo, the talk was fire. Ben, Ben knows his shit, man. He's on point. But, um, man, more than that, he's just a cool dude, man. He's super supportive. So, you already know, right? Me and Ben are talking. I was like, yo, Ben, you know you're going to have to come on Crypto Legends, right? And he was like, yo, that's, of course. <laughs> so, you will see Bitcoin Ben and the Crypto Legends collabing in the future. And let me tell y'all right now, if y'all ain't never watched his YouTube or never seen his live videos, go watch it. Yo, Ben be lit. He be, he, yo, he is a dope ass dude and he is mad entertaining. So I'm telling you right now, that shit is going to be a good time. <laughs> hey, definitely. Yeah. So friends, uh, the video right now will be back in one second. I'm actually just testing the chat for some reason. We're, uh. We're not getting the chat to show up on the screen, so just hang tight. Um, Lyndon, man, we got a ton yeah. of news to talk about tonight. We do. Uh, can you just go over the, uh, you know, what kind of news we're going to be talking about while I get this, uh, this, this chat back on and popping? 
Yeah, 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 of course, man. Yeah, so we're going we're gonna to be talking about a lot of different things uh, today, just so you guys know, right? We're going to be talking about the Craig Wright situation. You know, that's been on everybody's brain. Like, yo, what's going on with that? Like, what's popping? So, of course, we're going to talk about that. Um, we're also going to be talking about this really dope technology that I just caught wind of. Shout out and thanks to Paul McNeil, a.k.a. the Crypto Curator. Yo, this this is dope. And this is some next level when it comes to exchanges in the way you're able to exchange basically as a non-custodial, meaning retaining access to your private keys while trading on exchanges like Binance. I'm telling you, it's lit. On top of that, we're going to be talking about, um, of course, you know, we got this whole KYC, KYC thing going on where things are getting pushed to a whole nother level. And we have... Uh, basically, the regulatory, the international regulatory regulatory body, uh, FATF, uh, Financial Action Task Force, I believe is what it's called, and they're talking about creating international standards for all exchange and wallets in crypto. So that's going to be pretty crazy. And then, of course, you got to talk a little bit about Bitcoin's price and um, just kind of get people ready and remind them to make sure you have the right mindset and get into situated for this next bull run because trust and believe it's more than likely going to happen again when we don't know but here's the thing if it happens you want to be ready right so that's what we're going to do exactly exactly you definitely want to be ready uh colin says eight second lag um is anybody else getting like a pretty choppy feed or are we good like it's only gonna be a couple more shows like this my friends i'm still traveling here as you can see from the background i'm still in new york city i'm not gonna be back to my home office uh for at least another two weeks and then i'll be able to get back to the desktop the streaming computer and we'll have that crisp quality no lag stream so this macbook is uh is a few years old Thing, thing is, thing can explode at any minute, my friends. I'm, I'm gonna be yeah, honest man. with you. I was using it before Linden. Yeah, bro, this thing got so hot. <laughs> I thought it was gonna third degree burn me, bro. I'm not even gonna lie, bro. <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm talking, nervous. It's a pancake. Yeah, bro, I'm nervous because the the body of these MacBooks, you yeah. know, it ain't plastic. This uh, is like uh, some yeah, like it's... aluminum, shrapnel. You know, oh you don't know God. what can happen. Nah, you gotta be careful. You don't want to be like what was it, the Samsung phones, the notes that was exploding in people's Bro, faces and shit. Listen, my friends, if this thing explodes, just remember I tried to warn everybody. Jesse says it's good on my end. Colin says you're good. Nyan says little choppy, but all good. Steph says good here in Australia. Yo, shout out to Australia. Steve Miller says Matic is pumping again. I gotta check it out, Steve. Nyan says, just don't leave any private keys on it. Yo, if somebody ever gets this computer, I'll be honest with you, you're probably going to get like a dollar, two dollars most. <laughs> be honest with you. Nah. That's hilarious. Maybe man. more. Oh, maybe less. Man. Maybe maybe it's on here. Maybe I hid my, my, my private keys in this thing. You oh don't know. You don't know. You don't know, man. You know? Never know. You never know. Where's your private key? <laughs> a good question my private keys you think i'm gonna tell you oh no i ain't telling nobody that where is your private keys linden you tell Yo, us I, right, right fucking now all right tell I'm like, us. all right I'll, I'll tell you my private ease antarctica flat out <laughs> that's where i got all of them man i sent them there yeah imagine bro Yo, imagine <laughs> you went to antarctica you dug up a hole and you put all your fucking all your uh your coins there like it, it, Yo. your, your ledger your, your hard drives <laughs> you just buried that shit there. it's too extreme bro i can't it's too fucking cold in Antarctica. you ain't never gonna catch me there D okay. says well i'm sitting on a hand grenade with my mac <laughs> yo diet says paper uh paper Nano Ledger says Cowboys. Yo, I want to give a shout out to all the freaking regulars here, man. I recognize all these names. You guys are freaking yeah. legends straight up. Yo, Linden, man, let's go ahead and get right into the news, man. We got a couple yeah. guests joining us in, in a bit. So let's breeze through these uh, through these news articles. Uh, the first news article coming uh, from CoinGeek.com. And uh, the article says Coin uh, Craig Wright attempts to copyright the Satoshi White Paper and original bitcoin code okay so before we get into this article because this has been like the one of the largest talks of the past what 48 hours 
pretty much in the yeah. crypto world. Do you think Craig Wright is Satoshi Nakamoto? Yes or no in the chat. I want to hear everybody's answer. Yeah. I'm curious. Is Craig Wright the founder and creator of Bitcoin? Yes oh, or no in the chat. Yo, you just, you just opened a can of worms, bro. <laughs> I mean, dude, look. I read an article. Yeah. That was pretty damn convincing. Mm -mm. The article what? that I read. I, I mean, yeah. I don't know the answer. I mean, I don't know the answer whether he is or he isn't. And I'm not yeah. I'm not saying I think he is or he isn't. I'm just saying that this article that I read was pretty damn convincing. Like, I can see that if somebody was brand new to the space and they found this article, they would say, oh, yeah, Craig, right? Yeah, he's the founder of Bitcoin. Oh. Right? The way that this was authored. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I think Lyndon is, but, but let's talk about it. <laughs> the chat is saying no, no, hell nah, hell no, hell no, not a chance. Fake yeah. Toshi. Uh -oh. um, Trump is Satoshi, says Steve Miller. Yo, yeah. you know what's, you know what's, what, what, why I don't think that it's, that it's him? Why's that? Why you because that? if it was him, why would he put himself in that position? Even even better question, if he did put himself in that position, why wouldn't he prove it right off the bat? Like, why wouldn't you give people undeniable proof that you are that person when it, it can be done, but yet he has yet to do so? So it's just like... That's but weird. why would you want that kind of attention? I, that's a good question. I don't know. That's that I definitely wouldn't. You know what I'm saying? Maybe he's an attention hoarder. Maybe that he just likes that. But he's... <laughs> He's already famous, though. But I mean, he's he's like John McAfee famous, though. <laughs> I mean, in in our world, he's famous. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I get what you mean. Yeah, yeah. I mean, uh, to each their own. I don't know, man. Now, right, now, let, now let's now let's talk about it. Let's talk about it. Let's talk. Let's All go right. into the article. All right, take it away, so, bro. Yeah, man. So pretty much. Uh, it, just so you guys know, right? There was technically two articles. There was one that was originally released by Coin Geek and. They put a title that had everybody hot because it said Bitcoin creator Craig S. Wright, Satoshi Nakamoto. <laughs> they really put that next to his name. Granted, U.S. copyright registrations for Bitcoin, white paper and code. Yo, it had people tight. I mean, people were super tight off that title and they was reading like, wait a minute, what? So after some time passed, people was like, basically like, nah, 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 that's not the case. It's not really the deal. Right. And then basically Coindesk came through and dropped another version of the article. Shout out to uh, John Biggs for writing this. Um, and you already know, I got this from the crypto curator, man. So I get pretty much almost all my information, but, um, you know, they were just going through and kind of, kind of trying to let people know what this means. Right. Filing this copyright, he's filing it for two things. Basically the Bitcoin code, original Bitcoin code and a white paper. When this is filed, this does not mean that he owns it. He, there's no ownership to this, right? What he's doing is essentially filing, filing this copyright. When he files it, you're not basically, you don't have to produce proof of this, right? So in the case that somebody else files it, right? Then it could end up being a dispute and they would have to take it to court to settle to see like, okay, who is really the original, you know, copyright, who should be the original copyright holder of this information? So. You know, with that being said, I I really I really feel like he's just doing this to try to piss people off. Like, really, I feel like he's just like, yo, I know if I do this and somebody write an article about it, yo, people going to get riled up and it's going to be something people talk about. You know what I'm saying? And of course, everybody has their opinion, blah, blah, blah. But at the end of the day, um, him doing this is I really feel like it's a stunt more than anything because it's really not doing anything it's, other than getting people fucking mad. So, yeah, but so, but why? Okay, so I I I I don't know too much about yeah. this topic, yeah. right? But why would it get somebody mad? Uh huh. If Craig Wright self proclaims himself as the founder of Bitcoin, like why would that get? Why would that make somebody mad? I mean, I would think just because of his reputation, right, from his, I guess he has a reputation from being a not so honest person, being involved in some shady shit. That's why I said he's kind of like, he's kind of like a John McAfee, right? So, you know, people are like, 
mm, hell nah. I'm like, no, 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 right? And he's been asked to produce proof. He even had a whole interview where he sat down with somebody and, you know, was going to walk through the process of giving proof. And then he gave proof, right? But then when they went back and evaluated, they was like, wait a minute, anybody could have did this shit. Like anybody, there was even, I don't even know if it's still there. there. Once upon a time, there was a website where I think it was called like, I am Satoshi Nakamoto. And anybody could go there and produce proof that they're Satoshi, right? And, you know, the real proof needed in order for him to really validate the fact that he is Satoshi Nakamoto, which is essentially creating a transaction within that particular wallet that, you know, that shows that, okay, this really is him. Uh, he hasn't done it. So my question is, is that if he really was him, why would he not do that? That's, I mean, it's as simple as that, really, if you wanted to really prove to everybody who you were. That's why I feel like I feel like either one or two things, and this sounds fucking sound retarded, but either he's not him and he's just completely full of shit, or he's it, he is him and he knows he's him, but he's just trying to rob people up for some stupid ass demented reason. E either one is fucking, it's, it's stupid. So, all right, all right. So, so let me ask the chat. So, mm -hmm. chat, why would that make you mad? Because I see a bunch of people saying, hell no, yeah. it's not him. Why? Because I mean, I personally, I just don't even, I don't know what to think, right? What I, what I don't understand is why somebody would want that kind of attention, you know, like crypto. Yeah. So I checked out Craig, I don't know Craig Wright, but I checked out some of his medium posts and yeah. I mean, he seems to be a pretty smart dude. Definitely. Yeah. You know, like some of the stuff that he he writes about is pretty articulate, you know, so I mean, yeah. I, I don't know. Well, I'm curious to see what the chat says. Not so honest yeah. stuff. You are sounding like a lawyer. Straight up lies. Craig can prove it tomorrow by moving some coins, but he won't. He's yeah. trying to be the face of Bitcoin, and he isn't. Interesting. It's, uh, it's interesting, man. It's, as I said, it's, it's, that's why I was like, I feel like it's a stunt, bro. It would be so easy for him to prove that he was Satoshi Nakamoto if he really was. That it's just like, why haven't you, right? And then on another end, that's why I said this. And then you got John McAfee that's like, yo, I know who it is. And I'm trying to get him to come out from hiding, hiding and shit like that. So it's like, okay, then it can't be you if John McAfee knows who it is, right? Because otherwise, he, he He's doing exactly what John McAfee said he was gonna do originally before he said he wasn't because of the government and shit. But um But what if you know, what if he was but he didn't want to prove it because he knew that nobody would believe him if he didn't prove it, but he really was. And he just wanted it to he wanted to get it off of his chest. <laughs> I don't that's fucking so, that's so I, yeah, that's some weird ass but, shit. But that's but I'm saying ass. like like okay, why even I guess we'll just have to see. Because it's like, okay, yeah. if you're not going to prove it, then why say it? Yeah. When you know that the heat is... Like, basically, he just took on a whole bunch of unnecessary heat, right? Yeah. For what? Uh, You mean, you mean for unnecessary heat for the like claim? Of yeah, for the claim. Yeah. Well, I mean, why would he not, though? Because unless he was going to... like. If if he really was the founder of Bitcoin, mm -hmm. if I, if I was the founder of Bitcoin, right, and I wanted to come out to the world and tell everybody, I would just come with my proof and say, "Hey guys, I'm the creator of Bitcoin." So nobody could dispute it. Nobody could, you know, send me yeah. death threats or any type of negative attention that comes with doing something like that. I don't know. It's like. It just to me that's like what the logical thing would be to do. Yeah. I mean it's like if I come out tomorrow and I say, Oh, you know, you didn't do this, I did this. I'm taking the credit. Like right. I, I gotta come correct with my receipts, right? And show you yeah, show everybody course. why I, I why I'm the one that created it. So right. if he's not coming with any receipts, it's like what's the point of even I don't know. Yeah, yeah. I, and I think maybe it's because of the fact, right? If he's not the real Satoshi Nakamoto and he knows the real one isn't necessarily going to come out of hiding, there's nobody to really combat him, right? Because ain't nobody finna be like, yo, nah, chill out, bro. I'm him. Just because he's saying what he's saying and being stupid. So it's kind of like he's, you know what I'm saying? He, he's he's doing it because he know the real person, if it's not him, 
isn't necessarily going to contest him, or at least not at this time. So it's just kind of up in the air, right? I mean, again, the sentiment is obviously most people are like, yeah, you're definitely full of shit and you, you're you not him. But, you know, if he's not him, the real Satoshi probably isn't going to just jump out and be like, yo, uh, no, nah, I'm right here. Fuck him. So. so so what does this whole copyright thing mean now? Uh, I mean, the copyright means, I mean, the same thing. Basically, because code is seen as a literary writing, right? You can copyright it. So, I mean, you think about people with a copyright songs, right? If some, if you copyright a song and then somebody else tries to claim the rights to it, you have to take him to court in order to battle that out. So I feel like he's pretty much kind of doing the same thing, but it's like, for what? And I really feel like it's, it's almost for some fraud shit. Because here's the thing. If you're really Satoshi Nakamoto, and you really were trying to protect all that and stuff why wouldn't you have done that a long time ago other than the fact that obviously it would have been on file that you were the creator of it and then on top of that he's saying he's doing it so he can have it for the for you know the the bitcoin community and stuff like that but i'm just like it just is not making sense to me like to me it just sounds really odd and weird matter of fact he even said this is what he said check it out he and, and this is weird, but anyway, he said BTC is not Bitcoin. Bitcoin is set in stone. It does not change where there is a protocol change. There is a developer in control, which is the exact opposite of what Bitcoin is about. BTC is passing off as Bitcoin. It is an airdrop copy that has been designed to slowly alter the protocol, allowing the system to be anonymized to such an extent that criminal activity can happen. The goal is to create a system that allows people to commit crimes, extort money, and have automated ransomware and worse. Yo, this is I not saw the goal that. of Bitcoin. Yeah. I saw that. So basically, what I got from that article, that's from his Medium post. Mm -hmm. So basically... He created Bitcoin, so if you want to buy porn, you can buy it without anybody knowing that it was you who bought it. That's what he said, right? But he, but it, for that, for that uh, anonymity. Yeah. But it wasn't created to be able to engage in illegal activities. Right. Right. Uh, yeah. Which it was used for that purpose by a select few people group of people right mm -hmm. um so i don't know yeah, i don't I mean, know man it's 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 that's i said it's it's funny man because right i mean bitcoin isn't necessarily anonymous in the way it's being used now it's definitely public it's definitely a public ledger it's not monero it's not Mimble Wimble, you know, Beam, Beam and Grin. It's none of that. You know what I'm saying? It's not Zcash. It's yo, uh, yo, who who's buying porn with Bitcoin? Oh, I'm sure people do it. Probably, yo, you know? yo, who buys porn? Period. Yo, if you yeah, pay you for lying. porn in 2019, you're an asshole. Yo. I'm sorry, man. You're an asshole. Like it's too free out here. Yo. It, oh my god man i'm sorry to talk about that but man i just thinking about that in my head like because he really said that and yeah, i'm like yo who's who who has a a, a subscription <laughs> yo yo yeah hold on you know i don't check this out yo shout out to brady pick he's over on my facebook right now i told him to jump over to youtube yo, <laughs> yo her her quote this is what brady peck said yo Ross has experience coming out to the world. <laughs> yo, yo, come yeah. on. Yo, come on YouTube and say that, baby. <laughs> I'm ready, man. Remember when uh, you could pay for Pornhub with Verge? Yeah. That yo, was yo, it drives a lot of people crazy that Pornhub is one of the largest websites in the world. That really, that messes some people up. Like, I, I read an article, forgot what website it was, but they were like... There's a lot of people that try to downplay the porn industry like it's not really okay. as big as it is. Bro, it's like mad. my friends, it's one of the largest industries in the world. Oh, <laughs> but yo. people stay try to downplay it like it doesn't exist. Like <laughs> like it ain't real. Uh, yeah, it's crazy, man. Yo, hey, who watches porn? Nobody watches porn. Yo, shout out to the person who came out with the idea of just making it free for everybody. <laughs> 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 yo, so yo, legend. Yo, I'm talking like back in the day, 
I used to go to the dollar store, right? The dollar video, right? And there was a yeah. curtain. I was a kid, bro. Be trying to like peek behind the curtain, oh, man. See what? Hey, <coughs> adult, adults only. Hey, be like, yo, oh, what? Oh my god, bro. VHS, ten dollars a, uh, a day. <laughs> man, times hell. have changed, my friends. Nyan says Sears catalog. Steph says, <laughs> "How you know it's free, Ross Alex?" Who don't know it's free? I mean, Let's keep it a I buck, mean, like, I mean, I, I plead the fifth. <laughs> Brady says, got to pay for that good VR shit, though. <laughs> Yo, Brady taking it to a whole nother level now. Yeah. Yo. Brady, Brady, you got a boy. You probably got a boy <laughs> now, don't you? <laughs> All right. Well, <laughs> my friends, you never know what, what we'll talk about here on the Late Night Show. Yo, shout out to Marcos Radicia for subscribing. Thank you so much. Shout out to Crypto yeah. Angels for subscribing. Joe Hanberry. Light me up 14. Bruce subscribe. Yo, thank you to everybody who subscribed, my friends. You're rocking with the late night crypto legends. Amen. All right, we're hanging out. We're having a good time. YouTube is our new home. We're here. Let's go. Let's go. Facts. Can I get some legends in the chat? Everybody just spam up legends. Facts. Everybody in this community is a freaking legend. And as right. always, my friends, you are more than welcome. Crypto Legends is a decentralized community. That's how it was created. That means that I'm right. not the I'm not the owner and the, the the head honcho, and neither is Lyndon and nobody. This is an open group. We may be the face, but you are always welcome to join in on this live and share your opinion. Yep. You know, you're more than welcome to hop in. So let us know if you want to hop into the Legends box. If you if you feel like you got the heart to hang, hey. just say join. Let me join. Yo, Paul Start, what up, buddy? Kim, what's up? Ruben Cervantes, yo, what's up? Brady has the AI real life doll. Yo. <laughs> yo, yo, they be wilding, bro. Imagine oh that. God. Imagine that, man. Yo, it's lit. Yo, yo, listen. I, I, All I'm going to say is, listen, Lyndon. Yeah. Yo, if anything ever happens to me. All right. You my boy, right? Of course, you already know what's up. Yo, if anything ever happens to me, yeah, delete my search history, please. I got you. <laughs> I got, I... <laughs> yo, nah, nah, yo, 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 yo. I gotta give a big up, though. Oh man. To the person who said somebody sat down in a board meeting one day. Okay, they got around their table. Yeah. There was this one person that became an overnight legend. He said, "You know what? I have an idea." You, yeah. know, you know what his idea was? What? Let's add a private browse feature on on fucking iPhones and Safari and Google Yo. Chrome. Yo, tell it's me real. that. Yo, who uses private browse? Who uses private browse? Let me know. If you don't use private browse, that's weird. Like I I legit don't. I ain't gonna lie. You don't use private browse? Nah. Yo, I use private browse for everything, man. Everything. I, I don't because don't nobody use my shit. Period. Incognito. Yo, I don't give a damn, bro. I seen this yeah. funny ass meme once, bro. Yeah. Where this dude was like, uh, he was on trial for a murder. And the lawyer yeah. the, the lawyer was like, um, I'd like to prevent, I'd like to uh <laughs> I'd like I'd like to present my client search history. <laughs> and the guy said, I'd rather confess to the murder. <laughs> <laughs> Yo. Uh, yeah, I'm dead, man. I'm dead. Oh, oh wow. man, too funny, yeah. too funny, That's too funny. Scary, bro. Yo, too funny. Imagine that. Yo, yeah. let's move on to the next article of the evening. Uh, and this one is coming from unchainedpodcast.com. Article article is titled How to Trade on Exchanges Without Fear of Being Hacked. This is a very big topic, my friends. Yeah. A lot of hacking stuff going on lately in the crypto world. It's an ongoing theme, and uh, it's not a question of if it will happen again. It's a question of when and what exchange will it happen to. So, Lyndon, bro, take it away. Yo, so, shout out to the crypto curator, man. He was the one that put me onto this, man. He, he always said, does. He always does. He always has some of the best fucking news, man. I love it. Always. So, he put me on to this podcast, right? 
um done by unchained unchained is the name of the podcast right and they had an interview with uh the woman i cannot remember her name to save my life my apologies but um she works with a, the, one of the founders of a company called arwin yo this podcast was absolutely lit what she and her partner developed and what they're trying to do is crazy so imagine this you as a trader can trade on binance but all the coins that you have that you're trading you retain within your custody so it's a non-custodial thing for you and you make these transactions and if binance gets hacked you don't lose jack shit Mm. crazy right now everybody's like okay how the hell is that possible what how does that work now check this out right think about this generally right if you don't know what an atomic swap is atomic swap is where basically basically um um, the transfer of cryptocurrencies has happened between users peer-to-peer from one blockchain to another right so there's no need for a third party there's no need for a binance or anything like that right now just keep that in mind now when you use an exchange right when you're trading back and forth you're trading exchange wallet to exchange wallet in a sense right because you don't have those private keys you don't have ownership of those wallets not your private key not your bitcoin period right what you do is that you take money from another wallet you have right you send it over to the exchange and then you trade back and forth on the older books with somebody else that also has an exchange wallet now how this technology works is that it creates an escrow between you and the exchange so you have an escrow sits locally to you you have the private keys you control it now the exchange also has an escrow right that's connected to the exchange wallet now when you're actually doing transactions everything works the same just as fast seamless so it's like you're trading but how the escrows work is similar to the lightning network so anybody unfamiliar with the lightning network you know that's basically the protocol that's being used litecoin has it uh uh, bitcoin has it, things like that right so what happens is that is that on lightning network you can open up channels and on those channels you can you do transactions basically off chain and then once that channel is closed it, it will settle it all on the actual blockchain so those escrows almost pretty much work the exact same way so as you're doing trades inside with the exchange and the escrow it's rapid woo, 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 making trades right and obviously the exchange is using its order book and you're looking at that and you're doing the changes now the second right you close out to withdraw from that escrow it actually verifies everything and then it sends your coins back to you so your coins actually never go into the custody of the exchange itself that is fucking huge definitely interesting yeah that's pretty crazy Fact. yo chat what do you think about that bro yo chat- riley welcome yo mm. that sounds like <clears throat> that sounds pretty pretty lit yo so thinking about it right the the biggest problem is with exchanges one from a custody standpoint they're handling funds so they're getting looked at by regulatory bodies as a bank bro like you're holding people funds and basically doing transactions and things like that right so this helps one to exchange with the whole custody issue and secondly it protects the user from any hackings and stuff that may take place and this is all a second layer solution right so this isn't something that the exchanges have to like build into their shit it's all you know it's it's really Mm. simple for them to implement and i want to say i believe it's already live in beta on kucoin i believe it is um the only thing is that they have a max i think right now they have a limit of a hundred dollars and then right now they can only do bitcoin bitcoin cash and litecoin and they're working on all ethereum and all erc20 um so this i mean like really think about this right this is almost an improvement to dexes because you know decentralized exchanges they operate on the blockchain but you retain access to your private keys right so 
you're good. It's not custodial for you. But the problem with um, decentralized exchanges is they go through something that's called front running. And front running is basically right because everything is ran on that DEX on a blockchain. You still have miners. And if miners choose to reject certain transactions for whatever reasons, it could kind of fuck with the system, right? And it can cause definitely uh, 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 um, to be, it cause, causes everything to be less decentralized. So because of this technology, it would basically essentially take that part out of it. So it's, it's interesting because now to where a lot of people felt unsafe with using centralized exchanges, that technology could completely fucking change the game, right? Because at the end of the day, why do people want to use Binance? Liquidity. It's mad people on there making trades, right? You want to go in and out of a trade as fast as possible. Mm. So this technology basically gives gives them options. I feel you. Okay. Interesting. Yo, by the way, I'm curious who uses Binance because, yo, in my opinion, mm -hmm. yo, Binance is lit, bro. It is. Like, yo... Whoever created Binance, like I know it was CZ, he's like the founder, but like whoever actually designed it and yeah. and and implemented man, Binance is is it, Binance is dope, dude. It's that deal, bro. For real, yeah. man. Like for real, for real. And yo, I also wanna 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 plug this here. The uh the trading the trading view app, my friends. Yeah. I have it for iOS. I don't know uh whatever you guys have. But the iOS app for uh, Trading View is lit too. You know, you know why I like the Trading View app, bro. Why that? Because it's really annoying to have to put in my my uh, authenticator code each and every single time I log into my exchanges. Yeah, you. Just to check prices, right? So mm -hmm. using this, I know it's real, it's live, you know, real time. I mean, boom. Yeah. Yep. You know. It's right there. Yeah, I love Trading View. Yo, I had to, I had to, yo. So you know, with Trading View, right? The whole thing is that you can only use a certain amount of indicators and stuff like that. Then they charge you. I, I'm gonna find it. There's another site that literally mimics exactly Trading View, and it actually has more information, cryptocurrency available wise, than Trading View does, and it is completely and utterly free. They don't charge anything. You can put as many indicators and everything. Bro, when I found this, I was like, yo, it's so lit. But I can't fucking find a link. I need to find it. <laughs> yo, yo, can everybody just drop an L in the chat for Lyndon? <laughs> just hand them an L right now. Yo, how you... Yo, I can't stand people like you sometimes, yo. You say yeah. something, you hype it up, everybody's like salivating over it, and then you just say, oh, and by the way, I don't know what it's called. <laughs> like, what the fuck? Like, come on, son. Yo, my man, yo. Damn, son. Hey. Yo, man, everybody's giving L's. <laughs> yo, I'm, yo, I got it. I got to add you the L for that one, bro. My man, yo. Nah, yo. yo, yo, and by the way, yo, there's this coin. It's seeing 1,000% returns right now. It's freaking ripping <laughs> off the charts, bro. This could be the next biggest thing ever. Mm -hmm. uh, you got to buy some, bro. But oh, oh, okay. shit, man. Yo, you know what? I forgot the name of it, bro. <laughs> My bad. <laughs> like, what the fuck? <laughs> yo. Um, oh, yo, Raleigh, bad. thank you so much for sharing out the video. Seriously. Oh, like, everybody I in this chat, my friends, like, the power that you guys have with your communities, if yeah. you could just share this out, like, man, it would just mean the world. Because the more people that watch this, the better. I, I just feel like the cooler the conversations we can have, right? Yeah, and, I know. You know, when we get different angles uh, from people, you know? Yeah. Um, and yo, shout, out, shout out, matter of fact, shout out to Steph, too, because she shared this in a women's group, a women's crypto group yeah. of 3,800 people. Yo, that's love right there. Yo, I got to ask, though, the chat, where are the females? If you're a yeah. female, drop the number one, because either you're not telling YouTube your gender, which is perfectly cool. But on our analytics, it says that our viewers are 100% male. Yeah. So it's either they're just not identifying, you know? Yeah. yeah. Identify yourself. <laughs> yeah. We want to know. We want to know. I want more. I, I want to see more women in crypto. Dead ass. Like, I really do. It's a lot of men. It's men heavy. And I met some really dope women in crypto, man. But I want to see more. Facts. Nyan says, I only identify as female if I get arrested. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> yo, <laughs> yo, that's funny, dude. Come nah, on, it is lit. that is oh, funny God. right there. I'm a oh, girl, 100% woman. Okay, but Steph, your username is Steph and Tony. So who are we really talking to? <laughs> yeah. Done to the crypto women, Australia and New Zealand. Yo, you're a freaking legend for that. Thank you so much. Yo, I want to give a big shout out to Mark Calabrese, who says, uh, "Don't." But remind it to anyone in New York that uses Bittrex, make sure to remove any funds before June 9th, or you will lose it. Mm. So, Mark, two things here. Number one, I'm in New York. Lyndon's coming to New York tomorrow or the next day. Yeah. I haven't seen you yet, so let's meet up, bro. DM me and let's let's make it happen. Number two, if an exchange shuts down, right? What happens to all of their funds? What happens to everything? What it's supposed to get liquidated. How That's so? What, so? So like Cryptopia, right? They're supposed to take everything they have asset wise, you know, get everything situated, and there's people are supposed to get their money back. That's rightfully is what's supposed to happen and then the other liquidity and stuff like that the other assets right if they have shareholders it goes out to them rightfully based on you know whatever it is they own yada 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 so generally that's what happens now yeah. obviously there's been cases where it doesn't happen or it takes forever for it to happen which in that case it sucks but generally that's the case definitely okay uh crypto cowboy says keep coins off the exchange yeah you should always I think unless you're day trading, there's no reason for your coins to be on an exchange, right? Nah. Uh, it's just too too risky, yep. right? Too risky. Because really, I mean, think about it. Mm -hmm. If your shit is gone, like more than likely it's gone. Yeah. Right? True. There's no insurance. Yo, no. I want to give a shout out to USAGI NAMI. I don't know how to pronounce your name, but I know you came mm -hmm. over from... Uh, Ben Bitcoin's channel, Bitcoin Ben, yeah, right? Yeah. Uh, yeah. Yo, that video you did with him already has over 700 views, bro. Yo, he got a following, bro. He got a fo I think his YouTube, he has 20, almost 25,000 subscribers, bro. Yeah. yeah he's lit. So, so chat, so Lyndon and I are trying to joint venture with other YouTubers in yeah. the crypto space so that we can grow our channel. So if you follow anybody, uh, in the crypto space here on YouTube, it'd be super awesome if you could like drop a comment in in their in their chat and say, "Hey, collab with Crypto Legends because we'd love to get people on the show." You know, who should we get on the show? I reached out to a few YouTubers; they didn't respond yet, which is all good. You know, um, a lot of people only want to collab when you have a certain amount of subscriber base. Right. But I told them, I said, "Hey, man, we're the we're the we're the legends, baby." You know, yeah. we go hard. We might not have thousands of subscribers, no. not but, to, but we go yeah. hard, though. Hey, not we, to mention, we are the best late night crypto chat show on YouTube, period. The best. The, yeah. be the, 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 the best <laughs> in the world. Yo, Colin says, sorry, not a fan of Benny Boy. Steph says Bitcoin Ben is 100% lit. His chats go off. Not bad for an old trucker he is. Low. But his name should really be Litecoin Ben. Yeah, no joke, right? Okay. Like Lyndon was good. Can do. Thank you so much. Hey, and uh, you said, how should I how should I address you? Do you have like a nickname or something? Or hey. just if you can help me pronounce your name better. Hey, this is top notch. No matter how many subs you have. Told the girlfriends can't have sex tonight. I am busy. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, what a legend, dude. Nah, it's so Yo, lit, what a legend. Nah, dude. I, yo, honestly, bro, like, yo, there's yeah. in chat, like, I want you to know this too. There's been times where Lyndon and I have streamed for like three people. We just streamed oh, yeah. all night for like three viewers. Facts. You know, like we 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 never started this for the numbers. It's just cool when you have some when you have people in the chat to talk to. The only way that this show even works. And we're able to talk for three, four hours is because we have guests and we also have a chat. If we didn't have a chat, we had nothing to even talk about. Yeah, what would we be doing? Bro? Yeah. Yo, D says, what are your thoughts on Exodus? Exodus Wallet? Uh, I don't personally use Exodus. So if that's what he's talking about, the wallet. Um, that's a good question. I just downloaded the new update for Exodus. Exodus. Yeah. 
And uh, I got to say, man, I don't know about the security aspect of it, but like the actual platform, I happen to really like Exodus. I think yeah. it's super clean. Uh, it's super easy to use, very user friendly, it downloads quick, doesn't take up a lot of space. Mm -hmm. um, and it's just it allows you to like change the appearance of it, which I think is cool. Yeah. Um, mm -hmm. I don't know the, what the security aspect is like, but I mean, yeah. hey, it seems to be a nice platform. I've been using it since 2017. So, um, I haven't heard anything horrible about it that I that I can remember off the top of my head right now. So, D says better feed Ben with a ten foot pole. Real talk. What What does that mean? What does that mean? Yeah. I don't even know where to find a ten foot pole in the first place. <laughs> Home I mean, Depot? I mean, Maybe. possibly, I guess. Ooh. PVC pipe or something? A ten yeah. foot PVC? I don't I don't even know. Yeah. Uh what are the best mobile wallets you all use? <clears throat> so I just downloaded the Matic the the Matic wallet. Mm -hmm. Um I don't really use mobile wallets. I do not. Do not yeah. keep my crypto on my phone. Hell no. Nah. Bro, you yeah. don't even have crypto. You're still waiting to make your first buy. What are you talking about? You're right, my bad. Why you be lying to the people, yo? You just told no. me last night you've never bought any crypto before. You didn't even have to put me out like that, bro. I mean, I'm just saying, bro. At least be real with the people, though. <laughs> yo. <laughs> yeah. If I'm lying, I'm dying. Facts. Um, oh, man. Yo, but anyways, I appreciate everybody here. V Chain Thor Mobile Wallet been vetted to be highly secure, and I can store all of my long term holders on there. Mm. Nyan says I keep a little on my phone for buying and selling. That's cool. Okay. I honestly like if I'm if I just need some, I, I keep a little bit of a reserve yeah. on on uh, on Binance. Mm -hmm. But you know what though, it's not tens of thousands of dollars. So if if I did lose it, like I probably would be pissed, but I'd get over it. It's not yeah, like I'm holding good. like 200k on Binance or some crazy number like that. Like maybe like a K max. Yeah. Just in case I need liquidity, so if I need to buy something that's ripping, yeah. I can buy something that's ripping, but that's just me. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, hey, Lyndon, can you do a little bit of a check of a coin called Plaque? It's an Aussie coin. Yo, Steph, weren't uh, you talking about this back in 2017? Yeah, Plaque was uh, Plaque was trying to do some dope shit. I remember hearing about. It. I can't remember what it was on the top of my head, but um, <clears throat> yeah, I'll have to um, I'll definitely have to check out Plaque and research again. What were they doing? Hold on, let me see if I can find it. Yo, they was they was trying to do something real dope. If that is moonshine, cut it out or cut me in. <laughs> This nah, he's talking about he's talking about mine because I got the fucking mason the jar. The mason jar, bro. Yo, I right, knowing Lyndon, okay, because he's such a natural vegan. That's probably some nine point five alkaline water. The only only the highest pH, no acidity. Bro, stop acting like you know me. I mean, I'm I'm just putting it out there, bro. Yo, all right, let's take a vote. One in the chat if you guys think that that's 9.5 pH alkaline <laughs> water. It's It looks like it's room temperature. Yo. Because knowing Linden, you you don't look like the type of guy to drink ice cold water. Nah, I hate it. I hate it, bro. What are you, a psychic? What the fuck is going on right now? I don't know. I, I don't know. Because, yo, there's you, a lot of... You like the, <laughs> you like the, you like the, the water whisperer or something? Like, yo, yo, because here's the thing. I know that you you're into the health, you know, genre. Right. And there's a lot of controversy on drinking iced drinks, right? That it's not yeah, good for yeah. your system. It's not right. good for the digestive tract. It makes you, it overworks your body. Yeah. So and, and and number 2, I cannot picture you drinking anything acidic. Yo, I ain't going to say you right. But you right. <laughs> Yo, what's that water, bro? Uh, Essentia. Essentia. I don't Essentia. drink Essentia anymore only because it's too fucking high. It's, uh, price is ridiculous, right? So Ridiculous. Um, ri ridiculous. The when I'm in, was... <laughs> yo, ridiculous. Yo, when I get when I get, when I get my water in Dallas, like when I'm in Dallas or in San Antonio, I go to literally shops that make this. They have the tanks and they make it fresh daily. And I go get it straight from there. If I'm not, if I'm somewhere that doesn't have that, I'll want to uh, 
uh, you know, Walmart, Whole Foods, and I go grab a, you know, a big gallon jug and shit. And yeah, it's nine point five. Yo, <laughs> yo, you could you could buy the uh the machine. Right. <laughs> they're they're like four or five k, but I mean, yo, listen, my friends, if you live here in this, I don't know if I don't know if this is a worldwide water. Mm -hmm. But if you live here in the states, then you know obviously what the Sani water is. Yeah. The Sani water is one of the lowest rated. Yo, people think water is created equal, my friends. Nah. All water is not create. Water is not water. Nah, it's not. Nah. It's not. It's a fact. It's a scientific fact. fact. Acidic water is trash for you. But we will get back to the crypto. I want to introduce you to this new water coin I got. Okay. Water coin. Water Buy it right now. Yo, tell me you see the movie The Water Boy, bro. Tell me that's not bro, one of the uh, funniest that's movies one of my ever. Favorite movies of all time, bro. What? <laughs> it's your daddy with Bobby <laughs> Bobby Boucher. Bobby Boucher. Oh, yo. My God. Mama always said that, uh, like, yo. Yo, hilarious. Yo, somebody says, uh, who diet says, you have Dasani in Canada. I'll make the ERC-20 for water cash. Imagine that. Yo. Enough so about water. More about plaque, you pair of wallies. Yo, yo Steph coming through with the, with the weirdest hard. with the weirdest <laughs> lingo. This is right. I'm wallies. I'm a wally. What is that even? I don't even know if I should be offended. What's a wally? Yo. Yo, I got to go use the dunny. <laughs> Sounds bad weird. It's not like you just saying words, like you just making shit up. Yo, Steffi, their language is Yo. That's slang. When I, when I go over there though, I'm trying to learn all that. I'm trying I'm trying to come back to the say saying that shit sounding weird as hell over here. They're gonna be like, what are you talking about? Like mm. you ain't up on game. Get your you know what I'm saying? Get your Australian game up. Mm. Yo, that Aussie slang, man. Facts. Yo, matter of fact, last night I was yeah. watching this documentary, right? Yeah. On uh on box jellyfish, I don't know if you know this, but box jellyfish is one of the deadliest creatures on the face of the planet, right? Yeah. And uh, they're actually prevalent over in those areas, right? Uh, yeah. Australia, Thailand, like those coastal yeah. regions over there. Fact. Yo, a sting from a box jelly. Oh yes, yeah, a wrap. They have enough venom. In their in in their in their tentacles to kill like five or ten grown adults. Like I, I don't know what the number is offhand, yeah. but bro, they're deadlier than a lot of things, bro. Yeah, a whole lot of stuff, man. Box it's, jellyfish. Yo, that's how you know. <laughs> yo, that's how. Yeah, that's hilarious, yo. I I thought I was like one of the only people in the world that's ever watched documentary about fucking jellyfish. Bro, yo, jellyfish blow my mind, bro. Yeah, because crazy. they're like, they're like almost like invisible, right? Like they're see through. Yeah. See, yeah, transparent. Like, what is the jellyfish's purpose? Is I remember even hearing that in the documentary, and I did as don't remember. I know it's like you know a lot of people thought initially, right? They thought that uh, the jellyfish, when you got stung, they, a lot of people think it's electricity, but it's not. It's just that the venom is venom. so potent that it stings like a shock, and that's when I was just like. Yeah, I'm good. Yeah, bro, but them shits are deadly, bro. Um, yeah. I was also I was watching this documentary about rattlesnakes, right? Because I went to mm -hmm. one of the science centers around here, and I saw a timber rattlesnake, and I hate yeah. snakes, bro. I hate them. Max. Really hate them. But I'm also infatuated with them in the sense that, like, I think it's super cool how the world has a way of giving creatures and animals that can't defend themselves mm -hmm. defense mechanisms like think about it like a snake doesn't have arms a right. snake doesn't yep. have legs yep. so what do they have one of the a, a deadly venom Back. right you see some of these poison dart frogs man they're this small yo but that was... poison could take down a fucking cow yo crazy right like it's crazy how the world is is that way right Right, yeah. And and and, and it, it, these these rattlesnakes, right? Because we got rattlesnakes all over the U.S. You got yep. the Eastern Diamondback, the Western Diamondback, the Mojave rattlesnake, yep. the Timber Rattler. While it's not that common to die by a rattlesnake bite, mm -hmm. you actually have time to go and get the antivenom. 
at the yeah. hospital, a lot of people don't know that even if you cut the head off of a rattlesnake, it can still bite you. Yeah, it can. So what you got to do is you got to take the rattlesnake and whip it mm -hmm. like a towel. Yo, somebody go watch that video on YouTube. Whip it like a towel, rattlesnake. That's literally what they have to do. You take the snake and you whip it and it crack it it kill it cracks its neck, right? And kills it so it can't bite you. And yeah, there's this guy that weird. demonstrates it, right? And I'm like, man, because dude, in Texas, you're from Texas, yeah. or you live in Texas, yeah. there's actually rattlesnake hunting season because they're so popular, they're overpopulated. You're legally allowed to go hunt these things to control the population, right? Yeah. Because any rattlesnake could give off like a thousand fucking babies. Yeah. I don't know, man. It's fucking crazy, bro. And then I'm like learning about anti-venom because like you hear about these things. But like, what is anti-venom? Right. What really is anti-venom? Right? Yeah. What they do is somehow they figured out a way to take a snake, to take snake venom, inject it into an animal, take the antibodies, purify it, and create an anti-venom. Like, who thinks of this shit? Who thinks? Yo, that's... Scientists is who think of that. Shit. It's a it's 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 amazing. Anyways, shout out, to, shout out to the scientists in the world. Like it's just I don't know, dude. We're, life is beautiful. The world is amazing. Let's get into the next news star, story of the night. This is the big news story. Oh, we got one more. Yeah. One okay. More the... One more. Coin desk, right? Mm -hmm. This one is titled "Regulator Set to Adopt Tough New Rules for Crypto Exchanges." Coindesk.com, my friends, as always, if you're watching this on Facebook, the YouTube articles are in. No freaking way, dude. No, no way. Dude, no dude. freaking way, dude. No way. No way, dude. Are you kidding me? Yo. Are you happened? kidding me? Yo, Raleigh. I want to give a big shout out to Raleigh. Yo. What a freaking legend, dude. Coming through with the $10 shot hey. collar, man. What a legend. Yo, can I get some Raleigh love in the chat? Yo, thank you so much for supporting the stream, man. You're a freaking legend, dude. Legend. What a man. <laughs> so lit, bro. Love it. I love this community, man. Yo. Like, yo, Raleigh, yo. you just made my day. I want you to know that. You just made my day. If anybody made my day today, it was you. <laughs> it was you. Lady. My girl Nicole is up in the chat. No, no way, dude. What is no way? Are we getting this another is... dono train going? Are you uh, kidding? Yo, this... Jesse Dirty with the five dollar dono. What, dude? Are oh, you kidding God. me? <laughs> Yo, man, uh, thank you so much, <laughs> man. Yo, this community is so supportive. Uh, Yo, what? Yo, Jesse, Durney, Raleigh, yo, thank you guys. Yo, can we get, yo, everybody, can we get some love in the chat for Jesse and for Raleigh? Seriously, man. Like, I'm not even surprised anymore because you guys are just so amazing. The facts. Unbelievable. They dope, man. All right. Let's get into this news article. Let's do it. Thank you again, friends. Really, means the world to me. Lyndon, how do you feel about these donos, bro? Man, I yo, it's just like like I said, bro. Time, time is valuable. Time is real valuable for somebody to take time out of that busy day to come through and watch us, and we be streaming for hella long, bro. So for somebody to take all that time and come over and watch us, that's love. But then on top of that, on extra of giving us your time, you gonna give over your hard earned money too? Like love, yo, man, that's nothing but love. It's love crazy y'all good people man keep this going bro we need to all stick together yo that's much love for real thank you so much yo you know what man i'm gonna just go out there and say this because the love is in the air tonight yo linden i think we we should do what we did last night yeah and let's do a yoshi giveaway bro yo i'm with it let's do it all right bro yo let's give away a lucky winner i'm thinking 500 yoshis bro Let's do it. 500. Yo, tell the people again, what are Yoshis, bro? Some right, people so Jack, don't know what they are yet. They don't. So Yoshi, two things. One, Yoshi, the little green dinosaur that Mario likes to ride in Super Mario Brothers. That's generally, obviously, the, the first version of what Yoshi is, right? And of course, you see we got the whole Super Mario thing. So it pairs up, right? 
for Yoshi's on this YouTube channel. That is the Crypto Legends, the official Crypto Legends loyalty rewards. And what happens is that for every five minutes you watch this stream, you get in five Yoshis. And you can gamble them. We're going to have it to where you can redeem it for merch in the future. It's going to be a lot of things you're going to be able to do with these Yoshis. So, hold on to these joints. I'm telling you. Yeah, and they ain't going nowhere. You 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 accumulate them for watching this stream. Every five minutes of watch time, you get five Yoshis. And, uh, you know, it's a beautiful thing. It fu it's fun and uh, it's interactive. I I see somebody said that... Uh, the Yoshis aren't working right now. They should be working literally right now. So go check. I just turned them on. Everybody, for some reason or another, the bot gets turned off sometimes. Yo, Lyndon, let's make a reminder to always check the loyalty bot to make sure it. it's turned on. For some reason, it like turns itself off. I don't know why. So weird. Um, let me make sure it's working. Hey, yo, while I do that, bro, take us take it away on that news story, bro. Yeah, man. So, y'all, <clears throat> this new story. So, this is talking about the, 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 the title, right? This is coming from Coindesk. Um, shout out to, to Mark Hochstein for writing this. Beyond KYC, regulators set to adopt tough new rules for cryptocurrency exchanges. Yo, pretty much what's happening. There is an international regulatory agency or, or uh, regulation, basically, that they're working on from... FATF, right? FATF is the Financial Action Task Force. And what they're trying to do is basically create a standard for all cryptocurrency exchanges and wallets. So, um, you know, uh, um, I just blanked out. Ledger. I don't know why I just blanked out. You no, know, you good, like bro? That, wallets like that. Yeah, I had a moment. Okay. <laughs> so, But pretty much they're coming up with regulatory standards for this. Now, this can be good but also can be bad in my personal opinion i don't think it's a good thing because from what i read through this article is that basically not only kyc is one thing when you're collecting all of this information right they're trying to make it so where not only do you collect more information for the people that use the exchange but on top of that these exchanges and wallets would have to follow what's called the travel rule the travel rule is basically the same things banks use meaning that if a person travels and they're moving this cryptocurrency all of that information has to go over to that other institution, to the other cryptocurrency exchange, to the other wallet. So they're trying to basically keep track of people using cryptocurrency exchanges and wallets the same way they do with banks. Could you imagine how, you know, like how much data would have to be gathered for that? How much the, the, the moving, the inner workings of trying to make that happen between all the current cryptocurrency exchanges across the world? And I think you're seeing it's something that people will really feel like it's daunting. It would turn people away from crypto, it would turn, you know, turn people away from the whole exchange thing. And here's the most messed up part. They have a presidency for this particular body, for the FATF, and it rotates on a yearly basis. Guess who's the president right now? Talk to me. The fucking U.S. Womp, womp. Wow. I was like, really? Like this, this is what we're doing. This is how we're working, y'all. All of this, all of this out here. And this, this is what we're doing. So, and it's crazy, right? Because they're put into like the, the FATF, the reason why they're here um, is basically to help with money laundering and terrorist financing, right? That's the reason they exist. So I'm just like, yo. Um, and literally, per quote from them what they say some of the features of emerging technologies that appeal most to users and businesses like speed transfers rapid settlement global region increased anonymity can also create opportunities for rogue regimes and terrorists i can't say that that's not true but let's really think about this really think about it is it easier to track someone using fiat or cryptocurrency um i mean it depends so it depends you know, i mean yeah right now it, it, here's the funny part it's easier to track people and find out who they are using cryptocurrency literally 
unless you're you know if you if you're using a, a, a coin like Monero and things like that, right? It can make it hard. But a lot of entities that have been using cryptocurrency for fraudulent stuff, you're easily found. So if that gets out and people start to realize that who's out here doing all this fraud stuff, you think they're gonna try to continue to use it, or do you think that they're probably gonna revert back to fiat? So it's just kind of like I feel like they're trying to push this out there in a way that's it, I feel like it's a little blown up, is what I'm saying, you know. Um, because illegal activity happens everywhere, it happens with fiat, it's happened with cryptocurrency. And anything that we're gonna use is monetary system, yo, illegal stuff is gonna happen, right? But I feel like they're really trying to be like, yo, they're trying to take this precaution that's not it, it, it's kind of not as is a big of a deal as they try to make it seem so uh, i'm just not oh and you know what's even more messed up check this out right so the way this this body works the way the f fatf works right they give suggestions nothing is actually required you don't have to by law pay attention to this but check this out <laughs> This literally is what the, the article says. The FATF recommendations aren't legally binding, but countries that don't follow them get blackballed in global economy. Because basically, the members are between 36 economies and two regional bodies. So you can get blackballed for not following this recommendation. So they strong arming the shit out of crypto exchanges and wallets right now, basically. Yo, yeah, yo, my uh, my bad, bro. I'm I'm oh, working good. on something. I'm working. Oh, go ahead, go ahead, man. Joe, chat. What you think about that? Yo, that's crazy. Like, what do y'all think? Do y'all think if if this if this gets pushed through, and they're supposed to be doing this within the next month, supposedly, right? So the whole idea is that this gets pushed through, it may really cause some issues, right? And over two hundred to three hundred different people attend at this event. Right, and big people from both the cryptocurrency exchange world, wallet world, and the tradition traditional financing world. So, what do y'all think? Like, seriously, do you think like if this gets passed, do you think this is really gonna cause a problem? Like, do we see like okay, this is really gonna push people and deter people away from crypto, or will it not really matter? Right? Will this recommendation not really matter? Um, I just think it's just bad news, bro. I just think it's it. it it puts a bad sentiment in the air when it comes to cryptocurrency. And I'm so tired of that shit. But man, I mean, you got all of these different bodies, regulatory bodies is trying to talk about some shit that they really don't know anything about. And they're using old laws and, you know, old, old mindsets to try to maneuver through this extremely new and revolutionary technology. Like, how do you figure that works out? It's not, nah, it's not where it's at. That, yo, that is not, it chief at all yo the chief called he said that ain't it yo ain't it. Lyndon, man thank you so much for sharing that news article with us um man. yo so i'm seeing so chat so the bot is now back up i'm yep. seeing a bunch of people in the chat gambling some yoshis you guys are yeah. gambling gambling junkies okay all of you but, but i love you Facts. Colin says, I had 797. I still have 797. So it might take a second or two to add up, Colin. I know for sure that it works, that it's it's working right now. So let's check that in five minutes and see if it added. If yeah. it didn't, we'll definitely go in there. Number two, Jesse Durney won the thousand Yoshis yesterday, right? Yeah. Okay. Anyway. So Jesse, I added those. Thank you for bringing that to our attention. Uh, and then number three, number three, my friends. We currently don't have any moderators for yep. this channel. If you're a loyal viewer and you're here all the time, who wants to be a moderator? Uh, yep. All we need you to do is just help out. If anybody posts bogus stuff in the chat, we just yeah. need help moderating. And as a moderator, you can also access some of our settings for like mini games in the chat. And that would just help us out running contests yep. and stuff like that. So if you, if you, you see, okay, uh, Colin, it added, right? Did it add? No. Okay, yeah, not yet, eight, not yet. Oh, I see it. No, I see it only eight, added five. Oh, uh, okay. Hey, if you want to be a moderator, just put a one in the chat. I'll make you a moderator. Let us know. Um, okay, so that's that. And then the last thing is, yo, I think we got a new mini game, bro. 
Oh, see, do we? I think oh. we do. I think. I uh -oh. think. Let me check. Let me check. Chat. And again, we're still figuring this stuff out. To be honest, there's a lot on Streamlabs no. that we don't we have not using yet, uh, and we hope to get yeah a lot. But uh, so this yeah. one. Okay, so there's two mini games. Number one is Duel. Okay. Mm -hmm. And Lyndon, this is the one where you can actually battle somebody for their Yoshis. Yeah. Okay, so what you have to do is you have to put exclamation mark duel. Okay. I'll and then it. put that person's username and the amount of points it's that, you, that you want to duel. Okay? That's yeah. that's number one. So it would look like this. So it would look okay. like uh, duel at nine coin. Yeah. I don't know if you could do it on iOS or if you have to do it to be able to tag them on mobile. Mm. Uh, I mean, on desktop. I'm not sure. But that's one of them. And then the second one is okay. uh, this slot one. So if I type in slots okay. 50. Let's see if this works. All right. Yo, Video Biscuit. What's happening? Hey. Okay. Uh... Video yes. Biscuit, I'm making you mod. Thank you so much. That's you get a wrench when you become a mod. Uh, mm. And then who else? Um, we oh, got... yo, shout out to Jesse Journey real quick, man. Not to cut you off, but um, yo, he said, uh, what frustrates the hell out of me about the crypto space is the lack of credible and non-biased crypto news sources. Going to have to start up a Crypto Legends news site. Yo, so real talk, I'm telling you, if you want to get news and news that's been searched through and looked at by somebody, I'm telling you, the crypto curator is the thing to do, yo. The crypto curator.com. He sends out a he has the daily and a weekly email that comes. And I'm telling you, he gives you news. He searches through all of this himself. And I'm telling you, it's fire stuff. He yo, it's so much news. So check that out for sure. Yo, okay. All right. Yo, shout out to him for sure. Yo, yeah. yo, this streamlab stuff is is so cool. So yeah. I see that. Um, so Nyan, uh, Steve Miller wants to do with you for a hundred points, which are Yoshi's. I got to change that. You can accept or deny within two minutes. So he accepted and yeah. let's see what happens. Yeah. I don't it know what happened. Nine, they already said, they said nine coin. You got skull, skull crossbones. No, uh, no, no. It, that's from the slots. That's the slot. Thing. Oh, okay. Okay. Got you. Uh, so Nyan accepted. Let's see what happens. Nothing came up yet. Okay. We're working on it. That working. was for slots. Yeah, that was for slots. Okay. We working on it, chat. We working on it. Yeah, um, yeah. While I work on that in the background, yo, let's get into the big, big news of the night. The top article. And yo, I want, so I want to give a shout out to everybody that's in the freaking stream right now, man. Right, man, yeah, holy hard. smokes, yo. Chat, yeah. you guys are freaking, you guys are amazing right now, man. Thank you so yeah. much for being here. Who's new? Do we have any new people here on the stream? Yeah, I want to give a shout if out. You're, yeah, if you're new, I want to shout you out, man. Thank you yeah. so much for being here. John Red is in the building. Yo, what's up, John? <laughs> uh, Steph says, we are freaking legends. Let's get it. Okay. Going into the uh, big news article of the evening, okay? Yeah, yep. Uh, we're talking about Bitcoin. This one's coming yep. from Reddit. Okay, <laughs> gotta love Reddit. Yep. How many upvotes did this get? 1.5K uh, upvotes. Yep. Okay, okay. The cryptocurrency Bye. subreddit. When BTC yep. reached 8K in 2017, it reached 18K within 20 days. Bruh. Damn. I remember it. I was there for that. Who yeah. was there? Who was in the game? Who was in the crypto game? Yes. Like, yo, I remember <laughs> checking my Coinbase and Gemini account, bro. And just yeah. watching, like, I remember there was a time where I couldn't even go to sleep. Like, I would yeah. wake up with anxiety because I had to check where the price was at. Yeah. It's and then I, re I do remember buying in at 18K. God, bro, you bought in at 18k. You remember that? I bought I in at 18k. 
And yo, my friends, this is why you gotta be careful with price predictions because honestly, I think that any type of price, the majority of price, I won't say any type, the majority of price predictions that you read on the internet are complete bullshit. They're Fact. complete bullshit. Everybody in their coin and their token all has an unrealistic, astronomical price prediction uh, yeah. that they put out there to, you know convince other people that this thing is going monstrous and if you buy based on just that price prediction alone without doing any actual actual research you you're setting wrecked. yourself up for getting wrecked period Facts. period um but yeah man yo Lyndon, take it away bro let's talk about it yeah so what roger said is such a true point you know what i'm saying so you want to take those predictions with a grain of salt even more than that yo validate shit with ta i'm telling you like whether it's not if it's not coming from you that's fine right but you want to find somebody who is very competent in ta steven from block society is a really good example and you want to cross check what it is that people are saying you can have multiple references i follow multiple people who are really good good at ta and i check it but um the thing to remember about this article right to think about this is reddit post is actually what it is but um bitcoin went from 8k to 18k in 20 days i want to say when it went that full um i think it was literally one extra day that it went the full twenty thousand. so let's really think about that all of those gains all of that parabolic movement all of that price momentum was in only 20 days and previous to that price was moving up to that point since late 2015 like yo that's a long time from it was somewhere around i want to say they said it was 500 dollars all the way to that 8k from 2015 all the way to 2017 and it only took 20 days for shit to just blast off like a rocket ship crazy so the reason why i brought this up and to tell people this Remember this price in these parabolic moves takes the elevator up. I mean, takes a, takes a, a stairs up and the elevator down. Like I'm telling you in these part in these parabolic moves. So you want to be prepared for this. You want to be ready for this. You want to have a, some, some TA done. You want to have some target set. You want to have a stop game. You know what I'm saying? Stop loss plan. Um, like all of this stuff is important, right? Because that price action, when it's in that parabolic movement, it gets crazy. And the last time I checked, nobody in this chat, or at least I hope not, are robots. With the exception of maybe Brady Pick. He might be a robot. <laughs> I'm not sure if he's real yet. Yo, for real, bro. Yo, I just want to say, right, that yeah. this power brick right here, yeah, this is so hot, I'm not even exaggerating. <laughs> you could cook an egg on this. I oh, wish shit. I had a, therm a digital thermometer. This thing is like a frying pan right now. Oh, no, bro. I'm good on that. Bro. Yo. Yo, there's a <laughs> lot There's a lot of power running through this beast right Yo, now. You, you get a couple of those. You can set that on your back, and it could be like the hot stones that you get during massages, bro. Oh, that's... Yo, I'm doing that later. <laughs> I'm doing it. Yo, you live for that. Oh, man. Yo. But, um, yo. Uh... <laughs> All right, yo, real quick, I got a new game. I got, yo, I'm, I'm, uh -oh. I'm in love with this, this Streamlab stuff. Okay, uh -oh. yo, check this out. Check this out real quick. Uh -oh. You're gonna like this one. All right. All right. So if you go into the chat, Bro. all right, and then you type in exclamation mark. Okay. Eight ball, and then ask uh -oh. a question. Shut up, dude. For real. Let me see if this works. That is an eight, eight ball. Oh, yeah, okay. I see it. The answer is within yourself. Keepo. What? Where did keep? What's the keepo? I have no idea. Slide ball. So the strange. <laughs> now it says eight ball. What will Bitcoin be in a year? I got to see what this thing is. Are you joking? Try hard. <laughs> yeah. Yo. <laughs> yo, that eight ball roasted you, Nyan. What's the deal? Yo, 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 what, yo Steph, you tripping, yo. Yo, is, Steph said. Uh, the eight ball said, hmm, I don't know, Pog Champ. <laughs> eight ball, will BTC get to 100K this year? 
Oh my god. Yeah. Yo, that's too funny. Yo, I'm gonna yeah. edit these responses to make them hysterical because you can you oh. can edit them. Oh shit. Yo, up. Steph, you're crazy. All right, yo, Colin, we'll get you taken care of. I don't know what's going on with the Yoshi bot right now. I think uh I don't know. <laughs> yo, Colin said, Colin said eight ball is Craig White Satoshi Nakamoto. It said, hmm, I don't know. <laughs> Yo, Jesse Durney has the most Yoshis out of this whole community. How many, bro? I'm, nah, do we, we don't, we don't want to, do we want to put them on blast? Do we? Can we? Can we do that? Who are we putting on blast, bro? Who are we putting on blast? Who are we putting? I need to know because I don't even know who you're talking about. I want to know now. Let's put Brady Peck on blast. Yo, Brady Peck. Brady is not here right now, bro. Brady, hey, where yo. are you at, dog? Where are you? you better come through. He was he was over on Facebook earlier. Damn it, Brady! You're always missing, dog. Yo, oh, yeah, let me say too, yo. Shout out to everybody that yo. I've been approving mad requests on Facebook. I, it's been a lot of people running over to the Facebook group, yo. So, yo, seriously appreciate that. Oh, speaking of that, yo, officially, we have a public Crypto Legends Facebook fan page. Now, why did we create that? two reasons one we wanted to create a space where we can interact with people that's not in a private group right because if you're not in a private group you can't see what's going on all right so that's the reason why we put it there secondly because we can use that in the future to do our live streams as well and help push it out further to the people that mm -hmm. subscribed on that channel Mm -hmm. I mean, it's subscribe on the channel, but liking the page. So, please, if you can, if you go support the page, it's real simple. You can go go to the page, hit like. You can invite your friends, and literally in the click of the button, you can invite your whole friends list. I literally just did it earlier. Yo, can, like. yo, can I just tell everybody the news, bro? Yeah. Or are we well, not ready yet? Are we? Oh, uh, okay. So, here's the deal. We're all right, we're basically ready. There is one bug that is keeping it from being all the way there. And I'm aight, trying aight, to get aight, 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 aight. yo, yo, chat. If <laughs> I get yo, I'm gonna oh, I'm gonna I'm gonna make this executive decision here. Aight, if aight. I can get if this stream can get to 30 thumbs up, 30 likes, Ooh. can we tell oh. the people that are here right now? We won't put it in the group, we won't tell aight, anybody aight. 30 30 likes. All right, All right, we're, we're at 18 right now. We might not even be able All to right. do it. So, I mean, don't get too excited, chat. But I, I mean, I got it. I just, I can't even go to you sleep another night without telling the people this, man. This is insane. Yo, let's do it. All right, 30 <laughs> likes. If we can get 30 likes on this stream, 30 thumbs up. I'm telling you guys the big news that Lyndon yo, has yo, that's, been yo, that number. On. I, I literally just watched the number go from 19 to 22 in like two seconds. <laughs> really? Yo, let's do it. Yo, we, Oh yeah, 22 right okay, now. Okay, yo, 30 likes, chat. 30 likes, and, and, and we telling you the big news that Linda has been working on in the background. I didn't even know about this, chat. Yo, I chat, know. I didn't even know about this, okay? Nope. That's how much this was a surprise to me the other night. Like, I couldn't even believe what my, I couldn't even believe it, yo, what this man hey. did. You know, one thing I learned about Lyndon is he moves Bro. in silence. He just move. He's one of them dudes that he's a he's a slick mover in silence. Yeah. Like, yo, this guy really could be Satoshi Nakamoto because you would know no nobody would know. He could be Illuminati. He could be, you know, you he could be anything. He could be a, a artificial <laughs> intelligence. You wouldn't e you wouldn't even know. Cause he just moves in <laughs> silence. This man. Oh man! Yo, six Dude. more likes, and I'm telling you guys the news. So if you want to know, if oh, not, we'll, we'll, we still if we don't hit 30 likes, we'll still tell you guys. Oh. But it won't be until probably Friday. Yeah, it'll be Friday for sure. Okay. How does someone that is seven feet tall move like a ninja? Yo, I'm trying to figure out the same thing. <laughs> I'm trying to figure what? out the same thing. Oh my god! Steve yeah, says, any short-term trading tips? Yeah, I'm gonna give you a short-term trading tip, Steve. So any type of short-term trade that you do, right? Mm -hmm. Whether it's crypto, whether it's stocks, whether it's yep. Forex, yep. any type of short-term trade, make sure 
that you are thoroughly doing your research. Okay. Facts. And I know that when, when, when you hear that, it sounds very cliche, right? It's like, do your yep. own research. But the reason why people say that time and time and time again is because doing yeah. your own research is what makes the difference most of the time, right? Because yeah. you always have that, that like, you, have, you always have to account for variable change, right? Yeah. Things that happen that you never, you never thought would happen. Um, you know, sometimes things happen because they just have a mind of their own, but yep, going into a short term trade is you have to first assess your risk tolerance, right? What are you willing Definitely. to lose in a worst case scenario? If you lost every dollar in your account, would you be able to go to sleep at night? Right? Number one, what's the number two, what's the risk versus reward? What are you, what are you risking for what type of reward? If the, if the, if, if the risk is higher than the reward, it's just not worth it. Right. So you have to really assess that. Right. Yep. Number three, short-term trading. You got to have a bankroll. You have to, That's, you need a no. bankroll. A lot of people want to day trade with the hundred bucks. And yeah, there may be people that have gotten lucky and made right. a few dollars, but at scale, it just, it doesn't make sense. You have a Doesn't. better chance of losing your hundred bucks than you do of making money. And if you do yeah. make money uh, in a short term, is not it's most likely not going to be a substantial amount. Mm -hmm. Now, can you still get lucky? Like if you opened up a position the other day on Matic, could you have doubled your hundred dollars? Yeah, you could have. But how many Matics do you see? Right? There's yeah, for not. every Matic, there's a hundred coins that are going down the shit or getting wrecked. Right? So. I mean, really, yeah. just just do your own research. Be in the know. Yep. Read the news. Talk to people. Go on Twitter. Look at what people are talking about. Don't don't let somebody you know get you involved in something because you know you saw something on Twitter that said fucking you know this and this is going to the moon. Yeah. Like I I yeah. I seen so many posts like that the past couple of days because the market's yeah. been active again. Yeah. Right. And it reminded me, I, you know what? I actually had a list. I had a list of all these coins in 2017 that people were literally just shilling, right? Like left and right. Like yeah. this is the one, this is the one, this one I'm retiring. I'm quitting my job. I'm doing, if you look at those projects now, half of them don't even yeah. fucking exist anymore. The other half are still Boom. doing absolutely dog shit, nothing. So just let that show you that a lot of times it's a more hype than you know, yeah. actual, you know, yeah. power. Um, yep. And there's a few projects that I'm looking at right now, and I'm going to talk about that in a second, where I think yeah. that these projects actually have a lot of value. potential, a lot of value, yeah. right? Does that mean yep. that they're money makers? No, because we've even said on the show, Lyndon has said many times, you could have a badass project, but a poor team uh, or a poor execution won't necessarily make the coin increase in value, right? Uh, I think one of my favorite YouTubers, Casey Neistat said that ideas are easy. Ideas are everywhere. Everyone has ideas. Ideas oh. are, are dog shit unless they're executed, period. So, Facts. you know, in theory, something can sound amazing. And if you don't execute it, it's, it's nothing. So I don't no. know. Those are my short term trading tips and I'm no expert, but that's just me, you know, an average trader. Uh, Lyndon, man, you got anything you want to add there, bro? Or did I, did I, did I say, do you agree with what I said first yeah. of all? Or? Yeah, I definitely agree with what you said. Yeah, okay. definitely I agree with pretty much everything you said. So everything you said, y'all pay, pay attention because that is true. Um, aside from that, all, you always want to make sure you have a, you want to make sure you have a plan. Understand that day trading in cryptocurrency is fucking dangerous. If you don't know TA, I'm telling you, you would get your fucking, yo, you would get your leg. It's come about under you. I've seen it happen too many times. I've seen it happen. Go day trade futures market. Go day trade forex market. See, you see what I'm saying? Like I'm telling you, and that's that's a lot slower moving than the cryptocurrency market, right? Two two totally different markets, right? But go look at the volatility over there, and then come back to crypto, and then look at a day trading chart. Yo, it's it literally insane. It doesn't make sense why you would. Um, submit yourself to that much risk unless you really have the knowledge to to mitigate that risk right so you just want to be real careful you want to have a game plan and yo 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 best quote ever from a really really inspirational person i want to say a quote from the late and great dj Khaled. 
He says, "Oh God, don't don't play yourself. Don't play yourself. Don't play your, yo. Don't do. Don't play yourself in this crypto market. Yo, I'm telling that's you, it's hysterical. It's <laughs> true. Yo, so for me, right? Anything, any dollar that I put yeah. into crypto, like yo, Chad, I went through my. I, I downloaded the Gemini app. I didn't even know that they had one. Yeah. <clears throat> yo, I looked at my transaction history from 2017." Yo, I was a sick fucking maniac, dude. I was a sick... Yo, maybe I'll post up screenshots one day. Chat, yeah. I was a sick... Yo, if you knew... And I'm not saying this to, to brag or impress anybody or anything at all because it's not cool what I did at all. It's not cool. <laughs> it's not cool. But it, I learned from my mistakes. The That's amount of money that I lost in crypto in 2017, yo, chat was fucking disturbing. Was that it was yeah. it was disturbing. I told Lyndon those yo Lyndon that that's disturbing, right? Yo, yo. It, it, it hurt my it, it it hurt my core. Yo, like when I heard that number, I was like this yo sick. What? I'm looking at this transaction history, like yo, I'm I, I'm I'm disgusted with myself. And you know yeah. what that was from? That was from being stupid, being uninformed, and FOMOing in at the wrong times. Yeah, that happens, and I got freaking destroyed and yo. now this come about yo tell me not you see improvement yo with me mad improvement that's all i was about to say bro yo seriously it's just shout out to you ross man because yo the transition i remember when i first met you the conversations we had bro yo you now compared to then from a trading aspect the way you think about things yo different so like instead of buying fifty thousand bit connect today i only bought thirty thousand yo that's that's what i I'm don't say yo can i get a can i get some applause in the chat yo can i get a what's up what's up what's up i in mean yo in, instead of buying a million tron bro i bought 500k tron i mean uh, come on bro smaller amounts bro you got to think strategy bro when moon <laughs> Yo, you're crazy. Yo, man. but anyways, yeah, I mean, yo, chat, yeah. seriously, it's a volatile market, yeah. man. And never get, yo, never get in over your head, right? Don't bet over your head. If you're looking at, yo, it's fun to look at your phone and look at your exchanges and be like, you know, yeah. how cool would it be if this thing, you know, hit this amount or, but if you're nervously looking <clears throat> at your accounts and you're, and you're getting affected emotionally because it's going down. Yeah. Like, yo, one of my good buddies, right? Yeah. This guy goes big in crypto, dude. He he's he, he's a sick maniac. Yeah. But one thing about him, like he got into Matic yesterday or two days yeah. ago, and he made a he made some coin, he made some money, and it mm -hmm. went down. I said, bro, you know, you know, like I hope you sold. Yeah. And he was like, Yeah, you know, I sold off some profits, whatever, but I'm I'm long story short, he never gets affected emotionally, bro. Ever. Yeah. Like ever and i really respect that about him because you know a lot of people they lose 500 bucks in the market yeah you know they're freaking out and they're feeling sick to their stomach man you should never feel Facts. like that when you're yeah. trading because if that's how you're gonna feel you shouldn't trade in the first place Facts. so just don't get in over your head chat yeah control your emotions yo it's hard it's hard right it's hard to control your emotions yeah, yo man. so i we're almost at freaking 30 likes. We're tw we're three likes away. If you guys want the news, hey. just hit that thumbs up button. We got 25 people up in the stream. Big shout out to everybody. You're tuned in with the Late Night Crypto Legends. We're having a good time. I'm having fun. Linda, you having fun, bro? I'm having a... I always have a blast. I told you earlier. I was like, yo, I can't wait till we go live tonight, bro. I was pumped out. Yo, last night... <laughs> yo, last night in preparation for this... Among some other things I'm doing. Bro, I didn't go to sleep until about 7 o'clock this morning. You're a sick maniac. <laughs> I'm right there with you, bro. You know usually I'm right there with you. Yeah, that's a fact. Yeah, we be up. We be, we, we, we be having conversations at 2, 3 o'clock in the morning, bro. Yo, come on, man. That's what we do, bro. <laughs> Yo, let me ask the chat something. Yo, you know what? I'm probably going to get... Uh -oh. I'm going to just say it. Uh oh, let's do it. Yo. Yeah. Who I dare somebody. <laughs> Are we playing truth or dare in the chat now? That's yo, what we do. Yo, truth or dare. <laughs> yo, <laughs> yo um, truth or dare. Uh, somebody, somebody in the chat just say dare. How many uh, people yeah. say dare? 
Who bought it? Who bought that light? Steph says, dare me. <laughs> yo. Yo. All right. All right. All right. Yo. All right. Yeah. I dare somebody. Some of the legends. Oh, shit. I know what you're about to say. I'm nah, nah. You don't know what I'm about to say. You don't. You don't. I'm about to throw an audible. Oh, you don't know what I'm about to say. Yeah, he just did the Madden reference. He said, I'm about to throw an audible. I'm about to throw audible, bro. Yo, I dare somebody to take our YouTube live stream, right? And yeah. go, don't copy the link, but go into some other YouTube videos and tell people we lied. I knew you was about, <laughs> you know, I knew you was about to say that. <laughs> yeah. Yo, you knew I was about to say that? I did. I knew you was going to say that, bro. How you knew, bro? I just I, maybe I don't know. I know you. Yo, I know you for a while. Yo, yo, I dare somebody to go in and be like, yo, come join the crypto legends. We're live right now. Come to the channel. <laughs> yo, is that, yo, that's slimy, bro. I ain't gonna lie, bro. That's slimy, but it's all good, man. You gotta do what you gotta do. Let's <laughs> go violate. Yo, you, yo, you gotta do what you gotta do, bro. We need viewers, dog. <laughs> Yo, that's oh, I know I'm that's dead, slimy. Bro. I'm sorry. I'm, I'm sorry, dead. Chad. I said yo, video yo. biscuits that already did that. <laughs> <laughs> yo, that's greasy, says Nyan. Yo, that's pretty greasy. I know, oh, but it's all God. good, yo. Yo, Steve oh. Miller says, what goes up must come down and vice versa. Definitely agree right. with you. Never buy something, never buy when something is parabolic. Definitely agree with you. Yo, um, yo, you know a movie I saw the other day? Actually, on the plane, bro. Great movie. I yeah. haven't seen it in a couple years. Uh -huh. um, Blood Diamond. Oh, yeah. yeah that movie's tough. That movie. Movie's hard, bro. Yeah, that movie is tough, man. After yeah. I watched it, I started doing research on the whole uh, Conflict Diamond thing and Sierra yeah. Leone. And, man, nuts. It was serious. Nuts, it was. bro. Yeah, definitely. Back in the 90s and 2000, early 2000s. Yeah. Extra grease on the side says Cowboys lost 40k my first year trading 2015. Wow, mm. damn! I just put you on the crypto worldwide page. Yo, Chris Steven, dude, uh, big ups to you. Thank baby. you so much, man. You're yo, you guys are freaking amazing, dude. Oh man, we just need three more likes for the news. Yep. Mitch Ray, Stu, oh my God, dude. Oh my God. You dropped it in Mitch's channel, yo, Video Biscuit. You're crazy, dude. <laughs> yo, he's live right now, matter of fact, with a couple hundred viewers. Is he, oh, man. Give wow. me the alkaline concentrate. I think Maddox oh. back on the rise. Check out the charts. Yeah, we're definitely going to check out the charts here. Uh, share it on my Facebook group. Okay, yo, Nyan, thank you so much. And also, I want to give a shout out to everybody that just subscribed to the channel. I don't know how, but we got up to 215 subscribers. Yo, that's my friends, we got like 20 subscribers today. Yo, that's absolutely insane. Yo, you, um, yo, we got what like six or seven subscribers before the stream even started. It's an, it's nuts. It's nuts. We're on the way to 300, my friends. Yo, we're on the way. I want to give a shout out to all the new subscribers. Everybody who subscribed. Thank you so much. I don't yeah. even uh, have a place where it will tell me, but shout out to everybody that subscribed. Um, yo, where's Carlito tonight? Where is? I don't know. That's a good question. Carlito's I know traveling. Shopping. Yeah. Did he's, he get back safe? He's traveling. I'm gonna just see what's up and check on him. Check on him. And make yeah, sure he's cool. yeah. Check on him. I know he's traveling right now. Yeah. Uh, I'm working with Joe and Crypto Coin Trader Group. 115k members, Riley. Are you kidding me? Oh Holy God. crap, that's a lot. Yo, the truth. Welcome. Welcome, welcome. Thank you to everybody who's joining in. Ever says he's in the house. Yo, somebody wake up Carlito and wake up Anthony. Yo, watch. I'm going to call Anthony right now and see if he answers, chat. He said he was going to come on before, and uh, then he just disappeared. Mm. Your call has been yeah, yeah, his phone's off. You know what? Yo, I have a question that I wanted to ask the chat and kind of get their Your opinion and gauge this. So, I have a lot of people that ask me questions, right? Um, like, oh, how do I use a wallet? How do I do this? How do I do that? If I made short Crypto Legends videos and posted it on this on this YouTube channel, right? In order for y'all to have access to this knowledge, would y'all watch that? Is that something y'all would mess with? Like showing a video saying, okay, if you're using binary 
this is how you put in a stop loss order, or this is how you use a this is how you put in a limit order, or this is a difference between a market limit and a and a stop limit order. Is that something y'all would mess with? Would y'all watch that? Would that be helpful? You know what I'm saying? Because I know there's a lot of stuff out here, right? There's a lot of different tools, a lot of different things you can use. And I know a lot of people are asking me questions on stuff like that. I get DMs all the time about this stuff. So I'm just trying to gauge it. You know, if I if y'all really feel like it's helpful, I wouldn't mind putting in some extra time, produce that for you guys. If it's gonna help you, it's gonna keep you from losing money and making better trading decisions, I'm all for it. So just you know, drop a yes or a one in the chat if you feel like you would you would check that out. Yo, definitely. And yo, back in 2017, man, you were producing <coughs> crazy content. Crazy <coughs> content. I want to give everybody the news. Um, but we have how many likes do we have to go? I see 28. We need two. Yo, chat, we need two likes. We got 27 people up in the stream. If I if you see me doing this, it's because my phone is almost dead and it's the only place I could read the chat. Because I don't <laughs> have my dual monitor set up. Everybody's saying yes, 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 yes. So, so I'm curious. So, so Chad, now we're at the point where we're at the, you know, the late night aspect here, the aspect that didn't even make any sense, but you know, we're at the late night portion of the show. If anybody wants to join in DJ Torque, if you're right. here, crypto cowboy, if you're here, anybody else that wants to join in and chat it up with us here and right. talk crypto, let us know in the chat. We'll send you the invite link and you can join. You don't need video. If you don't want to have video, you can do audio only. That's perfectly cool. So let us know. And then number two, what do you have your eyes on right now? What do you have your targets on? I'm going to mm. tell you what I'm watching right now. Okay. Number one, I'm watching Harmony. Dude, I think that Harmony, one, uh, O-N-E, -O one, is yeah. going to go big. It's going to pump. Long term, no fucking clue. Short, yeah. Mid term, I have no idea. But short term, when that thing yeah. drops public sale on Binance, it's going to absolutely cool. explode. That's what I'm calling it. And it's like a couple of days away. And it's on like the, on the 27th or the, yeah. something like that. Yeah. yeah. I don't know when the public sale opens. If anybody in the chat knows, let me know. Yeah. Um, their whole lottery system, it's I got to say, I'm not really a fan of the lottery system. Yeah. They try to, I guess they try, they're trying to do it to be fair, as fair as possible, maybe. Well, I think that, so, so somebody like me, right? Yeah. Like, I'm not going to have 100 BNB in my account, dude. Right. Like 100 BNB is like what? Three grand? Uh, some, yeah, I think. So. Yeah. Yo, oh saying God. that is sickening, dude. Dude, yeah. yo, I had thousands of BNB, bro. When BNB was like a dollar, two dollars, yo, I had thousands of them, bro. Oh my God. Bro. I had a lot of BNB, bro. Because I remember I would swap in and out of trades with BNB. This is before right. BNB was big. Dude, I had a lot of BNB. Luckily, Binance doesn't show you more than three months of transaction history, or I'd probably be yeah. in a fucking mental institution. <laughs> Seriously. Like, yeah. Like, I don't even know. Dude, BNB, man. Jeez. But anyways, I'm not going to have 100 BNB in my account. So what are my chances of winning the lottery when there's whales out there that probably have 10,000 BNB in their account? Yeah, that's very true. Very, very true. I'm just going to buy a public sale, to be honest. Uh, yeah, you would. Yeah, I'm looking right now. I'm double checking the uh, the date. Yeah, so it's uh, wait, what? Harmony? Wait, hold on. Um, Binance is excited to announce the next project on Binance Punch Last Harmony One. The Harmony token sale will allow a lottery format with the recording of user BNB balances starting on. It already started. It started on the 19th, bro. Yeah, the lottery started. Oh, that's right. It's not the token sale. Okay, no. so the token. Sale yeah, it's a, it's the um twenty seven. Okay, it is a twenty seven. Mine's bad. It's twenty seven. Yeah, I mean, I'm not a fan of the lottery system. Yo, chat, what do you guys think of that? Yeah, from there. And yo, see. while I do that, I want to give a shout out to Troy Weaver for subscribing. VIPT Cruiser subscribed. King Me subscribed. Marco subscribed. I want to thank you to everybody who subscribed and everybody who right. donated to the stream. Thank right. you so much. It is so appreciated. Not required. But seriously, appreciate it. We have 30 people up in here. We're at 30. Oh, we're at 30 likes, boys. Uh, we're at 30 shit. likes. Okay. All right. Yeah, I'm going to tell yeah. you guys the news as soon as I finish telling you what I have my eyes on. All right. So, Harmony. Number two, Matic. Why Matic? I did some deep research on Matic. Matic, okay. I love the project. Yo. 
Love the project. I think Matic is a lot more than a pump coin. I think it's not a shit coin. I think that they have a solid project on their hands. And if executed long term could definitely be something I would I would support hands down. Yeah. Uh number Ooh. three, BTT. Why BTT? I'm 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 pretty midterm BTT. Uh mm-hmm. Justin Sun, I think the guy's not the best leader in the crypto space. I think he's more of an influencer and he hasn't really proven that he can um do much other than you know pump a coin on twitter you yeah. know what i'm saying like he's more of like yeah. a hype man but at the yeah. same time i gotta give justin some credit because i think a lot of people while they may bash him and he's a meme in the community and a lot of people you know give him shit i mean dude the kid is like a he's a, the kid's like a billionaire he's he's fucking yeah. he's young i mean the kid did something right right he did something right along right. the way um so i give him that i give him credit um you know in that department but i'm not even involved in btt because of him i'm involved in btt because i've used bittorrent for years and i think Mm -hmm. that bittorrent with their user base 150 million users yeah i think that btt is going to be like the largest utility token on the market like what's going to be bigger it's not bad that's not going to be bad i mean 150 million don't, people don't use the Brave browser. Not yet, at least. Yeah, not yet. What yeah, token it'll, it'll exists that, that, is, that has that many people using their system? Yeah, already. Um, now that I can think of, bro. I yeah. think it's... Yeah, until, except, yeah, go ahead. Yeah, no, 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 no. I was really thinking, but no, nah, I can't even... No, nah, no. Nah, you know, the only thing I can think of, right, is 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 like something like a Facebook or something, right? But that's... No, but that's not... Different. That doesn't exist yet. Yeah, right? exactly. I'm yeah. talking about in June, their speed, uh, speed net or whatever mm-hmm. is going to be coming out. So they say, right? So they say. Yeah, so and that's, that's going to allow people to earn BTT and yeah. pay in BTT to get faster download speeds on torrents. How this is going to work in the real world? No clue. Is it a cool concept? I think so. Right? Yeah. And BTT's price, I mean, dude, it's at like, I think it's at 215 sats or something. Not even. Crazy. It's at 15 sats. Not even two. Dude, this thing's at 15 sats right now. I mean, you, you can buy a million BTT for like a grand. Wow. Right? So think about if BTT hits, I'm just throwing a number out there just for shits and giggles. Imagine BTT hits 30, 30 cents. Yeah. That's 500 K. That's going to be huge. That's a lot of money. That's a lot of money, right? Yeah. So they're actually doing an AMA in Russia today. Like for the U S it's this morning for us. Okay. Uh, so if you see BTT pump a little bit, Maybe it's because of that. I don't know. What do you guys think? Who's in BTT? Now, number three, and I got to edify you for this, bro, because you called this oh. thing. You started talking about this thing a month ago, and that's HOT. Oh, uh, yeah. Bro, <laughs> yo, yo, I got to, yo, yo, hold up, bro. Hold the phone, bro, because I got a bone to pick with you, bro. Uh, yo, yo, you started talking about hot weeks ago. And yeah. then, and then, so coincidentally, the other day, this thing pumps off the fucking Richter charts, and okay. a lot of people made money. Yeah, I know we're not a trade YouTube channel. Uh, 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 we we don't give out signals and shit. Nah, I definitely don't. But like, yo, you couldn't hook a brother up with a signal and been like, yo, Rose, yo, you might want to get into this. Thing. I mean, yo, bro. And, and you know what's funny? The reason why I had, was talking about hot. <laughs> actually wasn't because of the charts i had looked at the charts but i hadn't gone in and did technical analysis and you know planned on trading it i was just saying because the technology was so awesome and i love what they're doing i was telling people like yo you should go check out hot and just peep what they're doing so the fact that shortly after that the price took off coincidence a good one for anybody who was in the trade but took definitely off yeah. took off now here's what i think with a lot of these coins okay yeah. and 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 more and more that I read the Reddit, I read Twitter, I read everybody in this community, regardless yeah. of 
the 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 need or the want or the desire for mass adoption dude everybody wants to make millions of dollars right everybody wants to make money bro everybody wants to make money and because of that i think a coin a token like btt or ha oh. or matic bro once that money is made people are yeah. gonna dump so if btt yeah. hits the dump is coming. Yo. People made money in Matic. They dumped. They Not dumped. You dump the bags and take your profits and, and get back into BTC or or, or, or Ether, right? Yeah. Or even Fiat, right? Yeah. So I wanted to ask you, bro, at what point do you think you have to say, okay, even though this thing dumped, I think that there's a lot of long-term potential here. Right. So, a good question. First of all, that's a really good question. So, when I think about stuff like that, right? What I pay attention to, even if something and I know is a good long-term investment, I still pay attention to the chart because even if you like you said, right? At the end of the day, you can love a technology, right? That's the reason why you're buying the coin, but you also want to make money off of it and you want to try to maximize that, right? So, when you're looking at the chart, for something that's long term, you want to try to find the best possible entry, right? Now, this is where knowing the TA comes in handy, right? Because something like Matic that just got hit to the market that went absolutely ape shit on the charts. I mean, fucking moon, right? There's a lot of potential downward trajectory. Now, that's good and bad. It's fucking bad if you're stuck in your hole in the sandbag right um holding the bag because you just holding baggage and you're gonna be stuck and you're gonna be really negative probably for a while um <clears throat> but if you're not <clears throat> say you rode the wave and you got out or you didn't ride the wave and you're just waiting for an entry yo let the price do its thing you could be taking that time learn basic ta pay attention to charts learn how to read charts right so that you can try to help try to help yourself find the best possible position to pay attention to when, it's, when you say, like I said, never, never catch a falling knife. You never want to try to buy a coin as it's coming down from a huge ass rise up like that. Right. Because it can be dangerous if you don't know what you're doing. Now, typically, typically coins like this, they have bounces, they can't bounces and things like that. that may shoot back up in the price. But if you don't know how to trade that shit, you need to be careful because that is not some easy shit to trade. It's one thing trading the market that's going up. It's another one trading the market that's going down. You know what I'm saying? It, it, it takes some skill. So you got to pay attention and wait until you see a bottom come in. Wait until you see a reversal, something clear of a reversal. And again, you're listening to me. You're probably like, what the hell are you talking about? Right? That's why you need to learn TA because you need to be able to identify these things so you don't get caught up holding the bag. You catch it. And then all of a sudden your shit starts to tank, right? So facts. Nice. Yo, you want to give away these 500 Yoshis? Yeah, hell yeah. Yo, Let's chat. Do it. All right, we're going to do a little giveaway. Everybody is eligible, but to win and actually get yeah. these Yoshis, you have to be subscribed to the channel. You Got have it. to thumbs up this video, and you have to enter in the keyword that I'm about to give you. Uh, and then the Nightbot is going to automatically select one lucky winner to receive 500 Yoshis. Now, what are these Yoshis? My friends, that's our channel's currency, okay? Nice. Uh, with that currency, with the Yoshi, you're going to be able to accumulate those for watching the stream, for interacting with the stream, and also winning contests just like so. In the very, very near future, we're going to be doing giveaways such as crypto. We did giveaways the other night. We gave away XRP. Yep. We gave away ADA. We gave away ECC, right? We're yep. giving away crypto here on the show. No scam. No, no sign up, nothing like that. We're literally just giving away crypto uh, yeah. on the show, right? Um, and uh, our viewers, our audience can attest for that. It's 100% real. We're also yep. going to be doing merch giveaways. We're going to be doing, uh, we're giving away Lyndon's Lamborghini uh, that yes. he's going to get. No, I'm just kidding. We're not oh, giving that so away. Big, yeah. But uh, all you have to do, chat, to enter, here's the keyword. <laughs> just enter the word enter in the chat. That's all you got to do. Everybody spam enter right now. Mm -hmm. Spam it up. Spam enter. Yeah. Just type in that keyword enter in the chat. Um, and uh, I'll let you guys know. We're going to do a countdown here. Man. Just type in nope. enter. Mad love to everybody who subscribed, man. Like, damn. Like, it's sick. It's sickening. Yeah. 
it's crazy, yo. We have over 20 subscribers that came through tonight alone, bro. Like, it's insane. It's literally insane. Weird. The love oh, is so real. Oh, snap. Look at who it is. Are you kidding? Yo, is that Carlito? <laughs> it might. I think. Is that who that is? Yo, Carlito, are you at Area 51 right now? Yo, if you need help, blink twice. Blink twice if you need help. I can party my ass off in Colorado Springs. <laughs> Yo, everybody say what's up, Carlito. Yo, what's up, bro? Look like he in a bar. He kicking it. Yo, if you get Carlito drunk enough, he'll do a crypto giveaway. I'm at like freaking play pool. Yo, I love pool. Yo. All right. I got that pool table. See that? Uh -huh. Yo, we're, one freaking, sec, one sec, one sec. freaking hell, freaking trying to get to, to Colorado Springs. Yes. Oh, well, I got to introduce you to someone, man. Yo, on. yo, one sec, one sec. We're doing a giveaway. Like, one sec. Yeah. He in his zone. Hey, All right. I just had to. Uh, we muted him. I had to mute him real quick. Carlito is Yo, lit. Carlito's lit. <laughs> Carlito is lit, bro. Yo, He's can lit. I get a Carlito's lit in the chat? Yo, one He's sec. Lit. Yo, we're about to do a uh, the giveaway. All right, guys. All you have to do is enter in enter in the chat. Just type the keyword oh, yeah. enter. I'm going to pick yeah. a, a winner. Yo, Carlos, unmute yourself. Unmute yourself. Unmute yourself. Unmute <laughs> I wish I knew sign language. Unmute yourself. I muted you. I couldn't even begin to guess what that shit means. Yo, when you mute someone on here, you can't unmute yeah, them. That's weird, though. You sure? Unmute yourself. No, you can't. That's so messed up, yo. You can't. So you can do it, but you can't undo it. Yo, he think he talking. We ain't hearing nothing he's saying. Yo, can you text him and say unmute? There you oh, go. There you go. There you go. There you go. All right. All right, yo. I'm picking a winner. All right, you ready? You ready? You ready? You ready? You ready? Get it. You ready? Right, get it. Yeah. Carlos, tell me when to pick the winner, bro. What? I can't hear when? you, buddy. Tell, tell us when to pick a winner. Uh, what do you mean, where? We're pick giving winner. We're giving away your Porsche. I can hardly hear you guys. <laughs> We're giving <laughs> away your Porsche. <laughs> <laughs> just say yes. <laughs> just say, we're, we're just giving, say yes. Just say yes. You have to pick a winner, man. Just say pick yes. No, no, no. Just say yes. Hey. Just say pick a winner. <laughs> just say yes. Just say yes. Say yes. Just say yes. Hey, Linda, happy birthday, hey. buddy. Yo, happy birthday, Carlos, Linda. just say yes. Carlos is lit. Yo, Carlos, just say yes, bro. That's all you got to do. Oh, man. Carlos. Yo, hey. Carlos. What's up? Listen. I'm right, I'm right now on the freaking freezer room. Listen. Carlos, hear you guys. Carlos, we're giving away your Porsche, okay? All right. Oh, yeah, right. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I'm picking a winner. Uh, oh, no. Yo, the winner has been picked. The winner is in the chat. Uh -oh. The winner it has been picked. Uh oh. Congratulations to Steph and Tony. You won oh. the giveaway. Uh, Linda, can you make a note that we're, we're going to award her 50? It better, hey, it better not be my Porsche, buddy. Bro, you can afford another one with your crypto yeah. gains. <laughs> Wait, wait, wait. Hey, so I just gotta say, hey, yeah. I just I just wanted to just sign in real quick. Yeah. You know, I'm flying back tomorrow to uh, LAX, and huh? I just want to say, hey, Lyndon, happy birthday, buddy. I appreciate that, man. For real, I'm out of here. I'm, I'm having too much fun in here in Colorado Springs. Hey, uh, have fun, bro. <laughs> right. Thanks for stopping by, Carlito. Care, we'll talk to you soon. All right, man. All right bye. <laughs> oh, yeah, lit. Yeah, listen. What can I say? Crypto yeah. legends were, were lit. Carlito is lit. Literally. I ran out of Literally. water from my tea, but we still lit. Oh. You know, you know what else is lit? Yo, you know what else is lit? I got some news. Uh-oh. I got some news. Uh-oh. Yo. So, without further ado, I give you the news that Crypto Legends is now on Twitter. Ooh, okay. Okay. We on Twitter? We on Twitter. What it is. Underscore Crypto Legends. That's it. Underscore Crypto Legends? Underscore at underscore Crypto Legends. And we here. We're on Twitter. We're on Twitter. 
But yo, I, that that wasn't the real news. That is that, that is that's that, not that, even the real. That was news. the small news. Small, the keto. But we gonna give him the big news. Yo, oh. guys, if you want the big news, oh. I want you to drop big news in the chat. Just drop yeah. big news, big news. Everybody spam up big news. I'm about. We're on Twitter. We're on YouTube, Facebook. We're 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 on Instagram. Yep. Yo, Jesse said it just tossed you a Twitter follower. He tossed it. He literally he tossed it to it. Did you catch yep, it? I, I caught it. You got right it? Here. All right. We all good. Don't drop it, bro. <laughs> Maddox pumping. Check charts. Is it? Yeah, it's doing a little. It's, we're going to check. Pump. We're going to yeah. we're going to we're going to pull up some charts in a minute. Yo, Lindy, you down and post some charts after we give him the big news? Nah, hell nah. Nope. Yo, we just hit 219. Subs Yo, Lyndon, you ain't sleeping, my dog. <laughs> the chat, the chat won't let you sleep. I do not. I do not know what sleeping is, bro. Yeah, like, we I... have thirty viewers in in this junk in this in this stream. We have hey, thirty two thumbs up. We have two. We got twenty some subscribers tonight. All right, yo, I'm hey. giving you guys the big news, Lyndon. I'm gonna announce it, man, and I'm gonna have you explain it. If you want to do a All screen right. share, show the people what's up. Got it. All right, don't do it yet though. I yo, so the other again. day, literally, I swear, I've known Lyndon for two years now. It started off with him. I talked to this guy in the dark. He had dreadlocks, and I don't even know. He was in a motel room somewhere in San Francisco Bay next to Alcatraz, tuned into the stream somehow, and freaking <laughs> told me he was in crypto, right? And uh, came on to the show. This guy turned out to be like a freaking crypto maniac, right? And that's Lyndon. If you guys don't know, Lyndon did used to have dreads, man. This guy... Super right. sharp, man. Super. This guy eats, sleeps, breeds crypto. Started up this community, Crypto Legends. And he's he's literally helping us get to very, very big places, man. And uh, I had no idea. But the other day, he hits me up, man. Lyndon always does this. He'll message you. He'll be like, yo, just want to let you know, I'm working on something. <laughs> he always does I that do, shit. Do, do that. He'll be like, yo, I'm working on something. He'll be like, okay. All right. <laughs> He's oh always working God. on something. If you talk to Lyndon in DM, he's like, yo, I'm working on something. <laughs> like, okay. Never tells you what it is, right? Then the other day, he's like, yo, you ready to see what I've been working on? I'm like, yeah, of course. Let's see what you got. Yo, yeah. chat. This guy sends me. He goes, he goes, Ross, I want you to pull up on your browser, realcryptolegends.com. Right? And uh, what I pulled up just blew my mind. So without further ado, bro, Lyndon, man, take this away, bro. I can't even believe that you you did this, bro. Seriously. This is like, I'm so grateful for you. And seriously, I can't even believe that you put this together, man. Yeah, man. I think this is incredible, man. Tell the people what we got here. So what y'all are looking at right now is the official website of crypto legends bro real crypto legends.com the official website yo i've been building this shit like crazy literally this is all i have been doing for the last week no it hasn't even been a week i think it's been like three or four days it just feel like a week so i've been working on this forever putting this together man i wanted to give a place man for people to really come get a little information about everything that we're doing right once we have merch set up we're gonna have everything going here now full disclaimer there is two bugs on the website that i'm still trying to fix and it's visual other than that we've, we're good to go so as you can see you know we got we talk about the about section talking about us what we got going on uh changing some stuff fine you know obviously talks about everything we do now I, you know what I'll, I'll do that afterwards so we're doing that talk about the facebook um bear with me i'm gonna be changing the text color and stuff like that to make it more visible you know it's talking about you know what we do on facebook all of the things that we you see us talking about questions on the facebook of course we got the youtube mind this i'm gonna center everything um talking about the youtube channel everything we have going over there you know what i'm saying people can come check out you know the latest videos we have real quick yada 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 you know what i'm saying webinars and one-on-one -on -one coaching is something we're definitely going to end up bringing to everybody in the future right because we want to give people all of the tools possible to help them so we got that going of course we got the squad on deck so i had to put a little section just to let y'all know who's running this and where you can find us because we're about transparency y'all want to see who we are y'all want to know where we at so of course i'm gonna get y'all that 
Now, of course, all of the guests, all of the awesome people we've had to come through on the show, DJ's Never Ended Story, Block Society came through. They all, shout out to all these cats. They all gave quotes. The Crypto Curator, you know, uh, New Da Vinci of GBO doing that. Now, the big thing that is going to be coming, the merch. We will, without a doubt, have merch coming to y'all. I've been working on this. Cause I've had a lot of people hit me up asking about t-shirts. We had the one t-shirts, Ross. I know you remember. Oh, that t-shirt. Yo, who is a who yo, you're an OG if you have that t-shirt. Yeah. I still have mine. Yo, who has a t-shirt? Who has an authentic OG crypto legends t-shirt from back in the day? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Facts. Yo, damn, that shirt was dope, bro. Yo, that shirt, it had the chart. Yeah. It had the moon. Facts. It said Crypto Legends. Yo, shout out to Jason oh. Reisner, man, for creating and printing those t-shirts for the for the for the community. And yeah. uh we got some really sick t-shirts coming out too that Linda's been working on, man. Yeah. You know, yeah. yo, who are these people, man? I never met these people before. Yo, so these is uh on the left, is... that's Nine Coin. Steph right, is in Nine... Steph is in the middle. That's Steph, yep. Who's and on the right? Uh, that's uh that's gotta be Yusef uh... Wilson. Yeah, there we go. Yo, I want to <laughs> give a big shout out to you guys for modeling the shirts that weren't printed yet. <laughs> yo, yo, yo Nyan looks sharp in that in that in yo, that shirt though. So clear. Yo, I really feel like this is what Lion Nyan may really look like in real life. <laughs> <laughs> we uh we contacted Brady Peck to do a model, but he said uh no. Right. He's like, nah, I'm I'm good. <laughs> you said, said, yo, you right. a funny guy. <laughs> <laughs> Oh uh, I need to get me one of those shirts, a hoodie, and a hat. Hey. Nyan says I'm in shape. Hey, that guy's in shape. Hey, yo, Steph says that's not me. Yeah, you guys still coming to New York City? Yeah, I mean, we're in New York City right now. Yeah, yeah. we're gonna be doing a meetup. We're gonna announce the dates on uh, on uh, on right. Friday. Friday, yeah. what day are we going to dinner, bro? You said, yeah. hope to see you there. Heads up, yeah. it will be in the Times Square area. Right now, yo, can I give the people the nuggets, bro? Can I give the people? I'll put, I'll put two nuggets on this website. The Easter eggs you're talking about? No, the little Easter eggs, right? This okay. one, one's like informational, the other one's just fun. So y'all know, right? Um, you know, in crypto, you got a million fucking acronyms and stuff, man. You know, I was using them in here. Now, of course, if you knew, you're like, yo, what the hell? I don't even know what that means. What's DYOR? What's Rex? I don't know what none of that stuff means. Well. Check this out. You click on it, takes you to a page. Guess what? Gives you all of the most common crypto phrases and acronyms, and they're all on here. Whoop de whoop. You could go through all of them. And I have them separated by section. General blockchain terms, hardware, financial terms. Again, bear with me on the text. I'm going to be changing it so it's more visible all the way through. Uh, financial terms and meme culture. Oh, and regulatory. Oh, make re regulatory bodies and miscellaneous. I forgot how many damn sections I had. Damn. Um, so it's here. So that'll be uh that'll be good for everybody to learn. Now the other thing, I really have fun with this. Now, y'all already know all of this. This is standard on a website, right? Contact phone number. We don't we don't have a phone number. So if you need to contact us, hit us up by email. Oh, by the way, emails is official. Info at real It's real yeah. out here. Yo, send send nudes. But, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> totally kidding. Yo, totally yo. kidding. You are too lit for that. Could you too lit for that comment? Oh, I'm lit. Yo, Yo. but <laughs> <laughs> I don't even know how to follow that up. Yeah, that was lit. All right. So, so, Yo, uh, dude, okay. I get out of character on the late night, man. This is crazy, bro. Yo, I don't no, even know why I just said that, but I did. So it's all good. Yo, it's a good time. It's a good time. That's why. <laughs> yeah. All right. So, all right. So on top of that, right now, we want you want to give us our location. Now, to anybody looking at the location, right? You probably like, yo, what the fuck is two? Don't show them. Don't show them, though. No. Don't show them. Let, them go, show let them. them. Let them go see for themselves. Yep. You got to Go to the website and click on this right here, y'all. RealCryptoLegends.com. Go to the go to the website and click on this, and then y'all let me know what's there. Yo, Mark, definitely, bro. Thanks for stopping by, my man. I can't even believe you've been here the whole time, bro. But thank you yeah, so much, really. man. Seriously. Yo, real quick, bro. I gotta, yo, I gotta. Can you pull that back up one more time? The website? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. give me a second. Yo, Kim, uh, trust me, I got some. <laughs> uh, 
Yo, right. pull that up real quick. Yo, I, I want you to pull up that. Yeah, right there. Yo, chat. Lyndon literally crafted this out for the community. Yeah. Fact. If you could scroll up a little bit. Mm -hmm. Chat, all of these acronyms. Can I get a can I get a that sick in the chat? Huh. I yeah. mean, seriously, this is this is so awesome, man. Because I didn't even know a lot of these terms. Seriously. I yeah. did not know a lot of these terms, uh, these little acronyms. And yeah. I mean, this just helped me out a lot, right? Like yeah. U of A, there's some right there. Um, yeah. Right there, uh, you know, segue. Um, yeah. I mean, just a lot of these little acronyms. Like, I didn't know what, them, what they meant, right? Like uh, DAG, BFT. So I think that's super dope. Steph says that's fully sick. Yo, Steph, congrats on losing 32 kilos. Yo, that's insane. Yeah, yeah that's... Damn, that's, Steph, how did you do it? Keto? Atkins? Cocaine. cocaine. Jesus. Uh, well, there we go. You Thanks, Lyndon. You just got us fucking banned on YouTube. You fucking God. This guy. <laughs> oh, um, it gives you the real Mario map. Oh, oh wait, what? It does what? what? It does uh, uh that 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 yeah. um <laughs> I did. Nope, I had a gastric sleeve done. Well, hey, I'm very happy for you. I think that's incredible. Thank you so much for sharing that. The number on the map shows where I live. <laughs> Yo, shout out to Diet. Um, all right. I don't even know how long we've been live for right now. We've been uh, live for over two hours. Long time. <laughs> you know, and, and yo, this is us rocking out without even having any guest on the show. Yeah, it's true. No guests. We just chilling it, rocking it out. We just chilling with the chat. Old school. Old school. Me and you, bro. It's the throwback. I got a slide, G. When and where is the meetup? Definitely want to come say what's up to you guys. Yeah, Yusuf, um, just stay tuned to the Crypto Legends Facebook group, the private one, because we're going to be announcing the meetup details uh, yeah. by Friday. So uh, just stay tuned with that. But thank you so much for being here. Thank you so much for stopping by. Yeah. Uh, li live for four days. Guess me up. I have no idea what that means, but thank you for sharing that. Yo, <laughs> Nyan says time flies here. It really does, man. Yeah. It really does. It wouldn't be possible without you guys. So I want to, I want to, I always like to give back to you guys. Mm -hmm. And I like to give back as much as we possibly can. Right. So. Yeah. I have an idea. Uh -oh. Let me know what you think about this. All right, all right. I'm listening. Why don't we ask the chat mm -hmm. which cryptocurrency coins and tokens they yeah. want us to pull up some charts on? And let's mm. take a look at some charts. Litty. We'll pick a few of the most popular guys. Spam up which coins you want us to do some quick TA on. You now rocking with one of the best. Ooh, ooh, ooh. One of the best. Man. Yo, so and if I got... you want us to take a look, drop in your symbols right now. Ooh. Let's get it. Invite me. I will be a rocking guest. Yo, Steph, you want to come on to the show? That would be lit. It would be so lit to have Steph on. Yo, bro. Steph, if you want to come on to the show, let me know. And if you're serious, I'll send you the link. That would be lit, bro. All right. So we got Plaque. We have BTC, ADA, KBC. Okay. Yo, shout out to Wildcard. Says, site looks really great. Should be a great tool for people to grab resources. Yo, Wildcard, thank you so much. I already know Lyndon has plans to add so many resources to this website. Oh, yes. And you know what the best part? Guys, there's, not, there's nothing to buy. There's nothing to sell. It's free. It's Facts. free. Just come, you know, 100%. and hang out. Facts. Best part about this. You know what I'm saying? You don't have to pay for anything. You know, you just come on there, hang out. Mm -hmm. And, uh, you know, that's it. Yep. I will be sharing that website with others for sure. Yo, Nyan, you're the best. Thank you so much. All right, guys. If you want us to bring Steph on to the show, Everybody, if you want Steph on the show, spam yes. And let me tell you something about yeah, Steph. Steph way, is bro. an OG crypto legend. I don't know how she found us, but she was one of the first people, her and her husband, Tony, on the show. 
They're right. from Bumblefuck, Australia. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he said Bumblefuck. Yeah, I'm just keeping it real. They they live in Bumblefuck. Like they, oh. where they live, there's nothing. Yo. Hey, um, there's nothing wrong with that. Sometimes you you want to live in Bumblefuck. Yo. And I mean yeah. Bumblefuck. Like they don't live in like Brisbane or Melbourne or Sydney. No, no, no. They live in the real outback. <laughs> She's OG. I remember them from Facebook. Yeah, they're freaking awesome people. Seriously. All right. We got we got a bunch of people saying yes, bring them on. Okay. Um Yo, send Steph that link, bro. Oh, shit. Let's go. Let's go. And uh, I see everybody. Okay, so KBC, DGB. Yo, D, I hope that you, because I know you always pump for DGB. I hope that you got in the other day, because I saw DGB was up a substantial amount on the 24-hour. Did you get in? Negative. Negative, Ghost Rider. What's up? Hmm? Who, negative, negative what? No, I didn't get in. No, no, I'm talking to D. I know who you were talking to. Oh, okay. D's. <laughs> D's lock. D lock. D lock. D lock. D lock. D lock. D yeah. She said yes, sir. That's awesome. I got in DGB and got out again. Hey, sometimes it's like that. Congratulations to ever just won 15 set uh Yoshi's. Yeah. Dash. Right. Okay. Yo, let's pull up the chart, bro, on, uh, let's do plaque. Steph spam plaque, like, 50 Yeah, times. I ain't even, I ain't even looked at plaque in a long time. Let me do that. Hold on. Let me, right. yeah, let me touch it. While you yeah. do that, I'll be right back. All right, all right, all right. All right, y'all. We going, let me see, where we at? Oh, plaque's not even on here. Oh, wait, no, actually, the ticker's probably, maybe it's, nah, it's not on here. I'll be right back. All right, all right, all right. All right, y'all. Uh, nah, not, not on Trading View. Not even on there. Oh, wait, no, actually, the ticket's probably. Oh, snap. Look at who it is. Uh huh. <laughs> Still? It's popping. No, no, no. Calm down on the. Oh, I'm, I think we're getting the feedback from uh, or the relay from the, us talking. Oh, hang on, hang on, hang on. Still? There we go. All right, you good? Right, okay, okay. Yo, what's up? How you are? How are you? I'm doing good. I'm doing really good. Yo, this it's, is so. What is it? It's three thirty in the afternoon here in Australia, and it's cold. I got a jumper on. Oh snap! This yo, it's three thirty in the afternoon. Yo, it's one thirty a.m. here on the East Coast. Yeah, you can go to sleep. I'll take over. <laughs> He's like, I got it. All right, y'all. I'm out. Um, Steph's gonna host the show going forward. All right, I'll see y'all tomorrow. <laughs> no, get back in. Oh man, no, that's cool. Yo, shout out. Yo, tell everybody, yo, say what's up, man. Yo, how yo, Steph, since day one, you have always held it down in the group for Australia, yo. Like, seriously. I don't even know how I found you guys, but I did, and it's it's always been great fun right from the start. It's been yeah. really, really good fun. That's dope, man. Yo, it's, it's the people like you that make it so dope, man. Like, y'all interact. Y'all have fun. There's so many great people in this. And it doesn't matter how many times I send out the live feed to Aussie groups, you'll always get the rat bags coming in. Oh, that's um, awesome. We're making Australia look really bad. But we're not. <laughs> nah, nah, man. Y'all have it, man. We always, yo, it is crazy, yo. Some of the most love I've gotten in Crypto Legends have all been from people in Australia, yo. Yo, like I've literally had, I think, three or four different people were like, yo, if you come to Australia, you better fucking not stay at a hotel. Or I'm going to be pissed. And I'm like, okay. <laughs> like, <laughs> and I'm like, yo, that's all. That's like the hot. Where is this this bumble fuck? Where the hell is that? <laughs> yeah, I don't know. I don't know where bumble fuck. He he just really made that word up. <laughs> it's so, but it's a word we use. It's all good. <laughs> that is right. Wait, weren't y'all uh renovating the house and stuff? How did that go? We are renovating this house at the moment. Um, yeah. we don't have a bathroom. Our bathroom is a little tent out the back, and 
Um, we've got a little hot water service that services that, and it's freezing frigging cold. Worst oh. thing we could ever do this time of year, but we're doing it. So yeah, hey. hey. Might as well do it, do it and get it over with, get it done, right? Let's make some money. Might as well. Exactly, <laughs> exactly. You ain't joking, man. Yeah, I seen it. I remember when you did like the walkthrough and you showed all the construction going on. I was like, man, it, it doesn't look any different at the moment, but things yo. are going to start happening very shortly. So. Facts. Yo, do you start the shower outside or can you? Yeah, you yeah, yeah we oh. just, we're at the yo, back. Who the let this crazy out. lady on here? <laughs> <laughs> who? You Oh, crazy buddy <laughs> ah, yo steph what's up welcome to the show thank yeah. you it is so, so good to have you yo. oh hold on real quick yo ever c4 you said it was going to take you a long time to sync um the ecc wallet hit me up yo i got something for you that'll speed that up for sure hit me up uh dm me on um on uh facebook if you can on messenger yeah, I need to talk to you about the ECC too because I haven't moved mine off of the um, exchange yet. And I really need it. <laughs> Yo, first off, everybody in the chat, can we get a hey, Steph, in the chat? Everybody just show Steph some love for hopping into the Legends box. Yeah, give me some right. love. <laughs> Yo, Steph, what's been going on lately? Uh, we're kicking it in the cold. Yeah, go on, bring it. Come on. Wait, wait, wait. <laughs> so it's winter over there, huh? It's, um, we're a couple of days away from winter. I First hope of- you're freezing your ass off. Yeah, I bet you do. Because it is beautiful, <laughs> 85 and yeah. sunny here every day, Fahrenheit. I don't know what that is in Celsius, but it's gorgeous. Yeah, no, we don't have that. Although we're in drought, so we haven't had any rain. We've got beautiful sunny days, but it's a little bit chilly. So, but yeah, you get that. It's winter. <laughs> yeah. Autumn leaves everywhere. Or what do you call it? Fall. <laughs> yeah, autumn oh, fall. Yeah. <laughs> um. Oh, wow. I so even speak the language you guys speak. And you know what? And we can't even understand what the fuck you be saying half the time either. <laughs> <laughs> I no. mean, if I'm the, what if I they mean, say? no, we get every season because Australia is massive. I don't think half. Half of your country realizes how big Australia is. But if you go down to Tasmania, which is the bottom end of the country, you get snow, but we've got snow fields right the way up to just before Sydney. Um, and then when you go north, you've got the Great Barrier Reef and it's warm up there at the moment. You go to Darwin and it's 32 and hot all the time. It's either raining in 32 or not raining and 32. So that doesn't change, but that's where all the crocodiles live. Oh, I'm good. <laughs> I'm staying far away from that. <laughs> you want to go to Queensland. You would love Queensland. Absolutely love it. The I want to go to um, Bondi Beach. Oh, Bondi's awesome. Absolutely I want, awesome. Yeah, I just want to go there. But it's busy. Like you go there in summer and it's way too busy. If you come down the coast, down um, to the south coast, You've got beautiful beaches. You can walk along there naked. Nobody will see you. Everybody will laugh. When Li- you- oh, Lyndon will love that. You know, <laughs> it's crazy. <laughs> Let me live. Let me live my life, all right? So Nyan says, can you go visit the offices of Cryptopia and kick their butts for us, slow? Oh, what have Cryptopia done? Oh, Cryptopia... <laughs> Oh, God. Cryptopia. Yo, Lyndon, explain what happened real quick. Yeah, so Cryptopia went to complete shit. So they got hacked back in January for oh, mad millions of dollars, and then they stopped trading for a while, and then they tried to open back up and get things going, saying, like, okay, we're going to be able to make it through this. And then basically a couple of days ago, completely shut down, didn't tell anybody. Yo, I literally was just on Cryptopia the day before. I went back, and I was like, wait a minute, where did the website go? And now they're trying to liquidate everything and clean it all up. That's ugly. Yeah, it's real ugly. Yo, all of the people that had, it was so many people that I knew personally that was telling me about they had crypto locked up on an exchange and it was some serious money. I'm like... Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah. wrecked us. Yeah. You know what blows my mind is that I'm sitting here right outside of New York City Lyndon is in an undisclosed location. Who knows where he is? Uh, you already know, North Ste- Korea. Steph is in 
Australia, and we're here all live right now through the power of the internet talking about crypto. Yo, that's insane. Very yeah. fun. Like, it's Steph, what time is it for you? It is 3.44 in the afternoon. I mean, it's already Thursday for you. Like, what's the what's the future like? Tell us what happened. You guys, we got it. We're sweating. <laughs> That's insane. Like, it's 2 in the yeah. morning over here. Um, <laughs> nuts, bro. Oh, so <laughs> Naya says, when you... I'm not editing, so, yeah, I get to it. I know what it's like. Nyan says, when you go to the nude beach, remember to put suntan lotion everywhere. I won't make that mistake again. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> Uh, D-Lock says, can you ask her about Power Ledger? Oh, Power Ledger is awesome. Yeah, you need to do some TA on Power Ledger because it has got a lot of tech behind it. It's really good um, and it's run over in Western Australia, which is over the other side of Australia. Um, but it's awesome. It's got lots of amazing tech. But, um, yeah, the yeah, it sort of went when everything else did. So, but, yeah. Awesome, awesome tech. You Aussies need to start pumping some shit coins up real quick. Oh, we're so bad, aren't we? Yeah, I, I, I mean, what's this is your hour, you know? <laughs> I'm looking at the market right now, and it's... Hour of power. Um, oh, Ruben asks if I still, uh, if I'm still in San Antonio. Yo, I live in San Antonio, Ruben, but um, I'm just not there right now. I haven't been back to San Antonio in like a month and a half, I think, yo. I'm, yeah, I be my home does not be my home. Like it, I literally be all over the place. He's on the run. He's, yeah, he's on the run. Um, seven feet and homeless. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I'm just going through the chat here. So Steve says, oh, check the Matic charts pumping. Um, yeah, yeah, definitely. Uh, we'll check that out. Streamlabs. Yeah, Colin, we're gonna get you taken care of. Steph's in the hot oh, seat, says Jesse. Um, it's not hot, I'm telling you, it is not hot. It's cold. I've got the heater going in. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it is so, um, real quick. Uh, so, Steph, what are you currently looking at? You know, what are you interested in investment wise in 2019, you know, versus where you were at in 2017? Uh, 2017 was a bit of a nightmare for us because that was when we first got in. Um, I heard about it. There was um, a book released here in Australia because um, Tony and I were were trying to figure out what to do with our money. And not that we had heaps, but we were trying to figure it out. So we read a book um, called The Barefoot Investor, which is um, pretty big over here. Um, and it's a guy that gives out really awesome investment um information he suggested don't go near crypto so what did we do we went near crypto so <laughs> nice all right so i smart. like it it's like being told not to go out at night by your parents you just got to do it you got to try it so right. we did um i i just um gotten into a little bit of money and so um i was really excited about it one of the girls that was following in on Crypto Legends, when it first started with me, she's up in far north Queensland. Um, she and I were back, like in the background chatting about where we should put our money and stuff like that. So I put a little bit of money in and the money just, like the value just kept going up and up and up. And like we're in things like Power Ledger, ADA, um, mm -hmm. all, of those, all of those sort of name ones. I didn't get into Bitcoin. Um, unless I was trading into another. And then then we sort of, I can't even remember what was happening. I think we got really busy and then everything just, like we were literally thousands and thousands and thousands of dollars ahead. Like it was about $18,000 we were ahead in our investment. It was huge. It was big. And Tony was getting really excited. He, he is like gently, gently with everything and I'm like a bull at a gate. And he, um, he's going, oh, shit, oh, shit, oh, no, what are we going to do? Oh, God, oh, my God, it's going up, it's going up. And he's getting really excited. He was having a party in his pants, literally. And then all of a sudden, it just went, oh, and, yeah, that was it. It was gone. So we're just, we're huddling now. 
we're hodling our coin. We've got it sitting there, but I'm just waiting for the next big one. And then we've got to figure out how to manage it better. So, but, and it's not something that I'm great at because we've been so busy with, with, um, we were, we're running a very successful photography business and now we're in property development. Thank you, Ross. Hey, Hey. super happy for you guys in that regard. That's dope. But you know, Steph, I'm curious because, so the most of us here, um, chat, where are you located right now? Can you just shout out your country? Everybody shout out your country right now in the chat. Uh, Because Steph, I think you're one of the only international guests that we have here on the show. And I'm curious uh, to know, like, what the crypto community in, in Australia is like compared to here in the USA. Like, how are it's people crazy. reacting to it? This is Craig Wright, dude, Australian. Wait, what is it? Was that? Uh, Video Biscuit asked ask her what she thinks about her fellow countryman, Craig Wright. Is oh, this- yeah, he's Australian. Craig Wright I'm is Australian. Out. See, it's another person that's making us look bad. What yeah. If he's got all the money, where the hell is he putting it? <laughs> Good question. Oh, wow. We have a fellow Australian here from Brisbane, Paul Start. That's awesome. Go, hey, Paul. Hey, um, guys. Awesome. So, yeah. So, Steph, so what is it like over there? Like, how are, you know, like everyday people reacting to cryptocurrency? Look, we were t- we we're actually talking to our plumber about it the other day, and he he knows about. It. He's only young. Um, we're not so young, but um, he's he's only in his um, early twenties, and he's got his own plumbing business. He's doing really really well, um, and he Whoa. knew little bits and pieces about it. He didn't know heaps, and we're sort of. Um, yeah, we were, we were trying to talk to him because you guys were doing a live feed and he was here working in the background and he's going, oh, what's Steph doing? I'm going, oh, it's all about crypto. And he's going, oh, I know about that, but I don't know much about it. So, yeah, we were ah. talking about it's It's there. I think it's a little bit underground. And every now and again um, the there'll be TV shows like on one of our morning shows a couple of weeks ago they were talking about crypto but they were talking about it on the dark web. So they were associating it with the bad part. And that scares yeah. people. It does. It does. 100%. Hmm. Oh, oh uh, yo, um, uh, yo, so Steph, you know uh, the company over there, uh, finder.com, is it like really big over there? Yeah, it is. Yeah. Yo, it's- so check it out. I have a, um, yo, I have an interview coming up with that the owner of that, yo, Fred. Oh, cool. That's going to be like super cool. I can't wait to talk to him. And you and Bitcoin Ben, go you. Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. We had a blast doing our episode. Some of his followers across. Like, he's funny. He's really funny. I know there's a few in the feed tonight that don't think he's much chop, but, yeah. and I, yeah, he he gets really excited too. He's like yeah. rock. He just gets really super excited. Yeah. True that, true that, true that. Man, no joke, yo. Man, it's it has been a good time for real, for real. Like I can't wait to bring him on to the live stream. It's gonna be lit. Is oh, anybody snap. Teddy bear biscuits? Yo, what is that? Oh, tell the- them about teddy teddy bears and tin cans and all of all things Australian. <laughs> Yo, it's <was> super good though. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, I'm gonna come over there. Yo, do y'all have good vegan food over there? Because that's what I need to know. We have a massive vegan following. In fact, at the moment, we've been struggling because the, there's been a massive uprising of um, vegan people going around um, killing, like removing livestock out of farmers' farms because, oh, yeah. yeah, it's there's been a lot of bad talk about vegan over here so yeah they've been um like getting into farmers farms and taking their stock out of there and it's been really really bad really bad i haven't heard much about it lately but it's been really it was really bad so yeah that's that's a bit of hey when you come over don't wear a t-shirt that says i'm vegan (laughs) that's illegal in australia huh Hey, guys, so real quick. So let me explain to you what's going on. So right now, you guys know I'm I'm traveling. 
Yep. And I'm kind of in between two places right now. So Nicole has two sisters. So we're crashing at one sister's house and we're crashing at the other sister's house. So the only place I can get peace and quiet uh, without the kids running around and all that is here. That. But I'm sleeping at another house. And Nicole just came to pick me up. She texted me. Her eyes are closing. And I don't have another oh, ride yeah. over there. Girl. So I have to punch out. And I feel oh, like I, 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 I feel like I'm going to say like I have to punch out early. But it's not really early because we've been live for over three hours. <laughs> but um, I have to go, chat. Look. Um, I want to thank you so much to everybody who joined in tonight. Uh, right. Sorry to cut it short. Steph, sorry to cut you short because I definitely want you on the show more often. Five I, think, five, so. I, I think you're awesome. You're one of our biggest supporters, and I can't thank you enough. Seriously, you've been uh, here since day one. Nice. As it's annoying cool. as you are, we all love you. You know? Yeah. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> Steph is the best. Literally, yeah. like if Steph's not in the chat, like it's not the same. Yeah, um, and true. uh, true. seriously, chat, I thank you so much, all of you, everybody who subscribed, everybody who donated, everybody who liked the video. I mean, I don't think we went under 20 viewers tonight at all. No, so we haven't. At you all. guys are awesome. Um, yes. seriously, and um, in here, my man Paul, is that it? Yeah. That's it. That's we it. gotta Yo, get the awesome somebody... community back up and running in this. Yo, there's uh, somebody, there, there's somebody from Vietnam in here, bro. It, oh, it's, wow. it's insane yeah. But listen chat We're gonna be back Friday night Okay Friday night It's less than I don't know 48 hours away 10pm central time 11 yep. o'clock eastern time Please Don't forget to subscribe Don't forget to turn on The notifications Hit the bell So that we When we go live You get notified And uh Nicole's gonna kill me If I don't run out Into the car right now So I gotta go Linden man Close it yeah. down and uh, I'll see everybody later. Thank you. Yeah. Bye. All right, man. Y'all already know, man. Yo, super appreciate everybody coming through. Thanks, Steph, for coming through. Man, I want y'all to have a good night, man. Y'all already know. Friday, 10 p.m. Central Time. Same place. Same time. We're going to be here. And I got some stuff planned for Friday, too. So be ready. Peace out, guys. We'll All see you later, chat. Take care, everybody.